Listen, get your tickets right now. Million dollars worth of game times. Gilly Fest, my birthday party. It's going we on. celebrating. It's going down. I told y'all we was introducing somebody every day. So far, we introduced G Herba. We introduced Babyface Ray. Finesse two times. Finesse two times. That's hilarious. And Rob 49. It's going down, but let me yeah, tell you. Yeah. Huh? Listen. He was gonna be 50 years old, man. Fuck it. How you gonna come out and celebrate like this shit? Stop you this gonna shit. be a half hundred. It's cool. No, listen, no. you better get your tickets. We got listen, and we still gonna keep announcing. Yes, we are. But hit the link. Get your tickets right now. It's going down. That's right. A million dollars worth of game. Listen, you ready to check out another episode? What you need to do? Buy some merch. You definitely need to subscribe and share to all million dollars worth of game. We got a bunch of different shows coming out. It's going down. But this Gilly Fest. For his birthday, a half hundred. We celebrating July 29th in Philadelphia. It's going down. Listen, we're going to be announcing some more people, but get your tickets. If get you're your not tickets. there, you're going to be upset. And guess what? It's only $75. Mm. All these acts, $75? $75. It's going down, man. This is some shit you don't want to miss. Get your And most tickets. importantly, Gilly and Wallow going to be there. A million dollars yes. worth of Eight game going to be there. Turning, turning the stage up. And it's just like that, right? You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. Listen, man, this is the marriage edition, man. This is going down, man. Listen, man, first of all, before we even get started, we got to acknowledge something that's very important that we don't hear too much in our community. This year is the 15th year anniversary of their marriage, man. They, they commitment to one another. They've been through the ups and downs. They never gave up on each other. And they still here. They loving each other. They making money together. And then they showing the world what it could look like. And guess what? They from the hood, too. They really from the hood. Mm. You know what I mean? But he, was, he was just telling us a story about when he first met Remy. And I was like, damn, yeah, it was like that. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, you know, they got the back and forth. But I don't even know what that's about. But uh, <laughs> he going to say, but listen, I got to give a shout out to Remy. She brought me the whole shebang. And, and it's any, nut ass listen, niggas ready to cry. Anybody <laughs> that knows you, bro. Listen, man. She understand, she understand the struggle. About, man. For her to bring yeah. the whole shebang, she understands. the you know, anybody that was ever in the joint, I don't care if you were from California, wherever. The Listen, you know the meal is not right without these right here. This is like your seasoning. You crack it up. You know what I mean? Mm. Or you just could knock the bag all by itself. You eat your bagel with it. But but if you're making a real mix-up, I'm talking about if you're making that series of chi-chi or that, mm -hmm. it's nothing like this, man. The whole shebang. Like, I don't even want to open these. Like, I'm going to put these in like a frame or something and just put them right there. <laughs> she said, now listen, y'all. She said she's going to make sure I get a case of them. If I don't get a case of them, man, y'all going to help me gonna, out with that, man. What I'm saying is. A case. I'm, I'm going to go. My cousin, That's where she lives, about. they sell them. She brings them to me when she's out of my house. I'm going to make sure she buys a case and I'm going to send it to you. So, so what your cousin be like, yeah, I knew you did some time, so. Now, Bam! Surprise! You probably and, like these. And, so. and I'd be really excited. Like, She'd be thank excited. you. Thank you. Did better. you ever make a hookup in the crib for him? No, I didn't. Oh, you, yo, she doing you wrong. She's not. She no. She doing you wrong. She got to. She got to. She never made him a chichi. She got to make him a chichi. Nah, no, she never. She never gave me. She, she cook her ass off, but she ain't never cooked me that. She got to do one of them, man. You know what I mean? Well, let's pull this table a little closer. She, 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 she cook her. She cook her ass off. You know what I mean? She get crazy with in the kitchen. She ain't never whip it up. For nah, you. she ain't never give me that one. Right. But hold up, before we go, what was your favorite? You wouldn't understand. So, um, how anything with with noodles, like the, the amazing things you could do with noodles. a pack of ramen, is it's just man. crazy. But it's so crazy because our kitchen, we're remodeling in the kitchen right mm -hmm. now. So I took everything and moved it like into um, the guest room downstairs in the basement. So mm -hmm. I have like a small refrigerator down there, a microwave. I got like a, this little pot that I use to boil water for tea. So my daughter, she's like, mommy, I'm hungry. And I'm like, I didn't feel like it was too late to order anything. So I made some spaghetti and meatballs. So I put the spaghetti in the hot pot, right. boiled that. I did the, the, um, I did the meatballs. So, so my daughter comes in, she's like, Mommy, how did you make this with no kitchen? <laughs> like, well, mommy was in prison before. He like, don't tell her that. Yeah, I'm like, why are you like, telling like, her that? She for? needs to understand. <laughs> like, she needs to understand how this happened. You like, know, I, that exact response. Had I not, saying. because that's what happened. Had I not went through that, I wouldn't know how to make no damn spaghetti and meatballs with a damn. Tea kettle, right. like what she are you talking a, about? Right. And it was fire, right? But use a little packet from from the oodles and noodles. So, so, like, so it was crazy. Right now, mm -hmm. is we gonna swag way into when is the the Remy Ma cookbook coming? Because he said you know how to cook, cook, cook. I do she know do. How to cook she get that. crazy in the kitchen. I mean, um, you know crazy. what? I never thought about doing yeah. a cookbook. I, I one time somebody presented it to me, and it just seemed like a lot. Like I literally would have to make everything and have the measure because. When you know how to cook, you don't measure stuff. Yeah. You yeah. just do it. You yeah. just make it happen. I was like, oh, I don't got time for this. Like, I'll do it some other time. Right. But I do so much that that's like on the list of things to do, but it's not at the top. Like, I feel like I do a lot of other things that I enjoy. I cook, but I don't cook because, like, it's my passion. It's just I cook because I know how to cook. Like, right. that, that's just it. Like, 
you at any given moment. I hold DoorDash. I do not care. Right. I go, Here we go. <laughs> Let's order. We're going to go at the, the restaurant. I like to eat out, but I do know how to cook. But I never like was into the, oh, I don't even think I like people really having my recipes. I like like knowing how to make like people come over to eat and they're surprised that yeah. Remy knows how to cook. I'm like, bro, like. I'm so glad she was home for a while now because when mm. she first came home, she was acting like she was still locked up. Then what was she doing? She was putting labels on stuff in the refrigerator. Damn. I was like, yo, babe, you home now. You ain't got it. Everything is for everybody. Who ate my such and such? I'm like, yo. Damn. No, everything is not <laughs> for everybody. There's a lot of That's the problem. You came over with some jail shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, why? He said, like, why? That, you, know the, you know the condemned juice, the, the grape juice? Yeah. That you when when you locked up you get it from like the people that the, the Jewish people they oh, get yeah. it like they that's the only time you get the juice so you like I got I need this this is my condemn like I could go to a supermarket and buy gallons of it that's mine Just do not touch my grape juice you touch my grape juice. did you touch it's it though see what I'm saying did you nah, touch wait, it nah he'll violate he'll touch wait, wait, it so you gotta understand wait. when she was going me myself you know what I'm saying my steps on the kids we all anything in the refrigerator is for everybody. She came home like, nah, that ain't what it is no more. No. Damn, she came home regularly. It's mine. It's, yeah, she did it. She All I'm just it. saying is I refuse to believe that Remy is putting her name on juices in the refrigerator. <laughs> I didn't put my name on it. It's just mine. Don't touch she it. She stopped now. No. no I mean, she been home for a while. Oh, now don't put it in the refrigerator. Now it's other places. Now you're not even going to find it. Like, so she had her own refrigerator. She was like, labeling everything though, folks. Spoons, hey, like, yo, you wild. Whatever, bro. whatever, whatever jail <laughs> shit she brought home with her. Because I know was what- she, I, Was she eating fast? Good question. I didn't notice if she did. No, I wasn't. Cause you know how it is when you mm -hmm. in your child hall, they, they got they getting you in and out of there real quick. Um, mm -hmm. see, mine's a little bit different. I was like up the whole time I was in jail. I never really went to the mess. Oh, hall. she was a legend. Like <laughs> she like uh, they bought my shit to myself. Like <laughs> right, like right. I went like if it was grilled cheese or certain meals. Like, like baked chicken, spaghetti right. and meatballs and spinach. That's that's about one it. Thing she, one thing she one thing she did that I respected when she first came home. I, I never forget it when I picked up and we came to the clip because at that time we lived in the Bronx. We mm -hmm. lived in the building, you know what I mean. And when she came to the door, she took them clothes off right before she went in the crib, left them in the hallway. I said, "What you doing?" She said, "I don't want to bring these these clothes into my crib." You know what I'm saying? Mm, never no, that. that's because they violated. They didn't let me come home the yeah, day I was hated. supposed to come home. They hated. And then they wouldn't let me. I had like the Tom Ford boots. I had the crazy. They, would, they, they wouldn't violated. let me wear my outfit. They literally approved my clothes, and then it was time for me to leave because it was so much media out there. They was like, "Oh, we don't want people to think that this is what it is yeah. in here." And they literally made they me didn't, leave. They in didn't my tell us rings. that initially, though. They did the bullshit. So check it. I, I launched the whole family up there. Our mother. My family, everybody, we went up there deep. We had the uh, farming cars, anything, making a movie. My wife been going seven years. Yeah, we got to make sure she right. So this is the day she get out. We've been waiting for this day forever. So we out there in front of the facility, and they never let her out. I was in, I was keep locked. We out there for hours and hours. We're like, what's going on? So they, everybody leave. I get on the phone. I start calling the lawyers, calling everybody. I ain't really getting no answers. Because he never listened to me the whole time. Every time something happened to me, and Jay's like, I'm calling a lawyer. Like, they mean nothing in right. here. Because yeah, they, they like, got their own laws. In get there. all they my nerves. Like, I'm calling but, a but lawyer. But look at the sucker like, shit, though. Look at the sucker shit. Yeah. She mapped her whole shit out. Like she said, the time for outfit and everything. Mm -hmm. When they got on the phone with me, do you know they told me? She, they said she can't walk out of here like that. We don't want, you know, they don't, they didn't want people to see her walking out there with her head up, proud. They want her to try to take, yeah. They literally told me that. They said, they said, they said, yo, come get your wife, but you got to come by yourself. The next day. Damn, New York. Word is wrong. I ain't gonna lie, I did it though. I yeah. wanted to get her the fuck up out of there. You fucking right. I'd, yeah. I'd have had everybody around the corner. Word, man. As soon as she came out. <laughs> fuck you. Right. She maxed out. Yo, fuck yo, you, Warden. I never drove that fast. I actually Lie. didn't max out. I didn't oh, you didn't? All right. Nah, I'd have shut the fuck up. They had me on post release the whole five. Like, they literally, I, the whole five years, I had a curfew from. Day mm -hmm. one to the last day of the fifth year. Like I had well actually towards the end I kind of fake caught another case, so I had an ankle bracelet on. But um yeah, they had to cut that. Wouldn't that we never even knew about that? Nah, you know about you probably just forgot. I tried to get sued. Yeah. Somebody ended up with a black eye. Oh, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Stop the bitch. What? Yeah, like, yeah, shit happened. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah. hey, But before we go any further, I'm smoking pussy charms. Did I say that again? I'm smoking pussy charms. And, and, and who uh, uh, who owned that? Uh, Remy. Mm. I, I came bearing gifts. I bought yes, them. Yes, she did. Jackets, she bought, they she chrome, bought me. They, she they bought me a strain. Hats. And she, it because I, you know, I was like, <laughs> I need to have to tell Remy she's some dookie. 
<laughs> Damn, she might sock me like she did. <laughs> it's, it's fire or nah? It's but, fire. But, but no, what, it's fire. What was you it telling about? me when I opened that bag? Well, you got some good listen, shit. Listen, listen. But the design is just like yes, the design. Um, I actually Serious. sat with, with with my friend Flo. She owns um Coco Nugs. It's like the um, it looks like chocolate. Well, it looks like weed buds, but it's actually chocolate. Um, out in Cali, and we sat down and thought of it like the from the picture we was googling. Down to putting the, the jewelry on it. Then I'm like, okay, I want the, if it's pussy charms, the inside of the bag gotta be pink. Like, I want the inside yeah, of the bag pink. I want to open in the middle. Like, it was right. a lot of things that went into it. And then we put it together, we sent it over, over the waters, waited a couple of weeks, and, then, and it was up from there. I know it's a lot of weed strains out there, but this is the best. Mm. So I like so, so prior to me it's leaving, on deck. I was like the female Snoop Dogg. Like, I was the one that, like, I remember the day I was probably still in high school. I was like, I'm never smoking garbage weed ever again. Like, mm. this is never happening. So I was the one, like, when I, I remember when I used to run into a meth and writing them, they see me in the Bahamas. Like, I didn't care where I was. Like, me, the risk of going to jail was not greater than the risk of me being somewhere without weed. So, like, I always had the butt. <laughs> I, I know, know what the fuck you like, talking about. <laughs> 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 Look at that nigga Gil. I know, know what the fuck you talking about. That's him. Like, you like, go three years <laughs> over here. Like, you're like, yeah, but if I don't, go, if I go over there with no weed, it's gonna be really bad. So, like, I was the one that always had the butt. They used to run down to me. Yo, Ram, I know you got it. You know I don't. <laughs> like, so when it came to me with the weed situation, I was like, Yo, I cannot have. I cannot not have the fire. Like right. that, that is very, very important to me. Right. Even though now the crazy shit, because they, they had me in cage so long, my tolerance is different. I can't even. I can't even smoke how I used to smoke. Like I literally have somebody that gets me haze. Like I'm, I'm a fan of haze. So I, I get somebody that. Gets she got me this haze. good shit. She want that old shit. Give nah, me, me love I got some in my bag. I'm gonna give you some. Yeah, of my give me, shit. give me some of that I'm old give you some shit. Haze. <laughs> Now like, she won two thousand and four weed, yeah, but she got this good mm-hmm. shit. She no, got, got this twenty twenty three. That great I, shit. I, if I'm walking around and I'm sitting here with y'all, I'll do haze. If I'm in the house, I know I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm then we could do pussy chomps. Yeah, because this shit, this shit gonna put you but down. You experienced smokers, you know, y'all want to pussy chomps every day. Now, now, me. now I see you got Chrome twenty three. Yes. How did that come about? How chrome did you know? How did that come about? Because first of all. You, you you know you wasn't playing no game when you first came in the Wait, game. Wait, hold on, hold on. You know? Before she came in, before we go to the brother, she bought us jackets too. Jackets. <laughs> yeah, I mean she laced us. You see what's going on? Uh, guess what? The I was super excited the about the good shit. So hundred percent wool, hundred percent leather. Now soon the girl what? put his shit on. He said this shit heavy. Too. Uh, shit heavy. <laughs> no, Daniel's leathers. Oh, this shit heavy. Yeah, this ain't that cheap shit. No, nigga. Daniel's leathers, who makes everybody's oh, leathers and yes. furs. Oh, he got the real he deal. He got the my, real deal. He did all my varsity jackets. Yeah, so all my hats is from um, New Era. The, she not like, playing. Like I, I'm, I'm very big on like if you're gonna have a product, it w- I wanted to be able to wear it. Like even that's right. like to my logo. Like I wanted to be something that I would wear regular. Like right. when people give me something, they got that big stupid logo. Like where am I going with this? Like it, ha- it has to make sense. And I put all of that into what I do. But as far as us creating the the battle league, it came from a place where um, one of my close friends, she's a battle rapper. Mm-hmm. What's and, her name? Um, Miss Hustle. Miss Hustle, shout um, out. She's a battle rapper, and um, we used to talk a lot. I used to go to her battles. I watched it. I come from battle rap, from those that don't know. And I didn't understand how women were doing so good in hip-hop. Like, right now, it's probably, like, the best time ever for female rappers. Ever. And ever I, in life. Why you play the part in that? No, I absolutely played a part in that. Baby. Absolutely. But um, yes. I you, feel You know like, what y'all did for female rappers, though? Female rappers used to have to be a part of a clique mm. to get on. Yeah, now you can just be you. Y'all, y'all came in, and when y'all came in, y'all was so hot that y'all made motherfuckers say, "Okay, I'm gonna pay attention to what she got to say. Right. Mm. I'm gonna pay attention." Lil well, Kim had to have a clique. Foxy Brown was 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 with some niggas with Jay, the firm that you was with, Fat Joe. Just look at all the women. They always yeah. had some connection mm-hmm. to some type of mm-hmm. yep. nigga that was popping. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now, they don't need that because y'all knocked the walls down. Exactly. I like what you just said. It's a lot of value to people from our era. A lot of people don't know that. What you right. said. It's a lot right. of us. We got that experience and each one teach one. Right. Stuff like that is why there's so much value in people from our era. Yeah. Right. But what, what, what I was saying is, all right, boom, we changed the trajectory of how things are playing out for females in hip hop. Most highest paid tours, Killing it. record sales, everything, it's endorsements, sponsorships. Why wasn't that transferring over into battle rap? Like in battle rap, like you'll have like 
one of the biggest, hottest dudes in battle rap might get somewhere near 100,000 for a battle where the biggest female in it might have yeah, cracked 10. Right. 10,000. That's like, to me, that pay gap is, is wild crazy, especially considering that had I not had the opportunities that I had, that could have been me. I'd have been a chick, dumb, nice, could probably say whatever, and y'all niggas trying to, nah, we not doing that. I need... We, we run into somebody's son. Like, right. this is just not going to work. Yeah, right. So I was like, all right, boom. I'm going to start my own league. I mapped it out. Came up with an idea. Um, I wanted a name first. I was like, I want a name that's like, that means something. So mm -hmm. chromosome 23 is, for those that don't know, it's the chromosome in your DNA that determines whether you're a male or a female. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Chrome, chromosome 23 sound a little scientific. I'm like, nah, yeah. chrome 23 sound crazy because yeah. chrome 23 yeah. can be chrome 23. It can be like, you know, there's Whatever. different ways that you could play with it. I came up with the name. I made an um, LLC. I made an INC, S Corp. I did all of that. I took some bread from my, my account, put it into that account, and I just started calling people, yo, I'm going to try to get you on this card. Yeah. I'm trying to get you on this matchup. I did that. First, my first card, crazy. I had um, High 97, um, pretty much running through their live stream. So we had, I don't know, three, four million people tuned in for like seven, eight hours straight. Mm -hmm. um, it went great. As the year went by, I just started it last year, as the year went by, I'm like, damn, why is it that when, you know, these other leagues throw a battle and they got all guys on it, like they pack the building, they pay for you numbers, is right? Well, they mm -hmm. was like, what am I doing wrong? Like, why are they not attracted to these women? So I made sure that I invested in hair and makeup, like wardrobe. I'm out there styling everybody. Mm. But then, it still wasn't working. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. So I came up. I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick some of the hottest males, make them one battle, give them the main event, mm. and then I'm going to put all the chicks that I think is fire on, on the undercard. Right. It's been, it's been great ever it's since. It's been crazy. Right. Like, it's been crazy ever since. And, so. and I, think, I think for you to be a successful, you know, rap league, you got to concentrate on it. The guys got to get the same opportunity they, they, they as the women. To. You they know what I mean? You like, can't like, just all female, all male. You got to do both. Because yeah. what you're saying is, you know, with the other rap leagues, you're not seeing the women get the same opportunity as mm -hmm. the men. So when you come in, you lean towards the women, but you also get the men the same opportunity as exactly. well. You know what I mean? Exactly. So that it could be, no, this shit is equal over here. But what was so crazy is not just it's not just battle rap because now I am still who I am. Right. So I could take them up to Joe Buttons. I could go to Hollywood yeah. and lock and sit there with Jason Lee. Right. I could call up TMZ and be like, "Yo, right. I got this big event coming," or Rolling Stone is doing an article or whatever. So I definitely use my Remy Minus and and steer it where I needed mm -hmm. to be steered. But I feel like since in the one year that I've been here. What I said, uh, uh, somebody that I shouldn't talk about. No, you said you you could talk about everybody, uh, but you just said everybody but me. You, know, <laughs> again. you come here well, too, goddamn well, it! Well, I, I didn't. This is, this is my first time. Witchy. This is my first time here. This is my first time here. You could have brought somebody with you, but. But yeah, I have been trying to get this here for a while. So, Absolutely. so yeah, it, we don't be it, playing no, the invitation been been extended for a while. Absolutely. But, so, but I, I definitely feel like all of the things that is me is 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 changing things and. Like most situations, people don't really like when things change or right. things is different. But um, yeah, Chrome Twenty Three is, is is not you know, going anywhere. You like, know what I like? What I like that you're doing is, and I need to say this: there's a lot of solid people that was in the industry. Everybody from back in the day ain't fucked up. You got a lot of good people that went through this industry that might have got done wrong, solid. That got great relationships. I like the fact that you're building a new company and you're picking up the phone. It's so many people that's afraid to pick up the phone and connect with their resources. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about there's a lot of money on the table. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even look at your husband. You know, he over there, the head of hip hop at TuneCore right now. You know what I mean? You got Chrome 23, you got the weed, y'all got a bunch of shit going on. You've been in movies, you got a new album you're working on. So it's like, man, listen, man. If you breathing, you still got a shot. Especially right. if you was a solid motherfucker. Right. There you you go. know, every you got a lot of pieces of shit that mm -hmm. was out here. You got a lot of, and, and, and you know, me, you, you, me and your husband talked about how, you know, coming through the system, a lot more people will be in position from yesterday, but it was a lot of niggas blocking. It was a lot that's of niggas fact. hating. It was a lot of usury. It was a lot of... That's why a lot of times, you young people, be mindful of these old niggas that y'all be hearing on these podcasts and all this, that, acting like they're giving up game. When you Google them and go back, you can't get nobody game today if you fuck people over yesterday. Mm. Mm. You can't You can't be on there talking, I'm giving up game, I'm doing... It decided, nigga, why you ain't telling nobody about contracts back then when you had niggas and slave deals? So be wary of these old niggas that y'all be watching. 
You know, these mm. two dudes, all, all of them at this right here, they done seen some fucked up shit from people yeah. that's rolling around now. They didn't rebrand themselves like they really give a fuck about the culture, but they was but raping I, motherfuckers. That's one of the things that I make. Move uh, up to the mic. That's, that's one shit. of the things that I make a priority, even when I'm dealing like with the artists that, that I do with my battle rap league, like as far as taxes. Like, no yeah, one tells yeah. you about that taxes. until they like this, knocking on your door, acting crazy. I'm telling them about taxes. I'm telling them about investing. I'm telling them about ownership and things like that. And um, sometimes in business, it doesn't really work. Mm -hmm. But to me, I'm going to always be an artist first. Right. Like, yes, I'm a league owner. Yes, I have all these different companies. But I know how it is to be an artist. I know how it is to be fucked over. I know how it is to want to move a certain way. You can't move because somebody got a piece of black and white saying you can't do that because right. we don't want you to do that. Right. Not because it's for your best interest, right. but because... They can. Right. They so got to call I, somebody else to get approval yeah. for you to move. So mm -hmm. I, I, I never liked that. Like when I came in, I was doing a freestyle over here, a song with this person, a song with that person. Yeah. When I got my first deal, and it's like, oh wait, I can't do the song. Or guy, you can do something. We ain't approving the video. Right. Like I remember when, when I did the feel so good with record with Neo. When I did feel so good with Neo, Neo didn't even have a record deal yet. He was just literally in the studio writing for people, doing whatever. By the time my record came out, he had a deal at Jeff Def Jam. And they wouldn't approve them. It's my single. It's a big record. They right. wouldn't approve them to shoot the video. Like, that's when I first... I think that was, like, my first taste of, like, oh, they are some bullshit. Yeah. This is crazy. Like, and that could have helped you that. really go to the next... That <laughs> yeah, fucks exactly. your money up. But, but in the long run, I look at it like this. I look at, like, I remember seeing it when I was young. Like, I remember running around seeing, like... I look at the people that thought they was above me at that time. And then I look at it now. Like, I wouldn't trade my life for this shit... Ever. Any, yes. Like ever. Like yes. a lot of times people come into this game, they go from here and they shoot right up mm -hmm. and they think that that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But from being around people like my brother, Fat Joe, mm -hmm. I tell him all the time, like he thinks that he, he, he uses it all the time. But I'm like, yo, one day we was having a conversation. I'm like, yo, you came in in 93. Right. Like I've seen the people that was next to you or that was past you. They don't have teeth. Right. They they like right. they don't they look crazy. They're still wearing really, really wide leg baggy jeans. Right. They like it, they they not mm -hmm. doing great. Right. So I'd rather have this career that does this than this. Yeah. yeah. You know and just just to add on to what, what Wala was saying, that's a, a fact, which was talking about how like a lot of people be blocking and shit be real political and that actually stops a lot of Dudes like us from growing, mm -hmm. like it's it's real. Um, I had I had that experience with even with like DJs. You know what I'm saying? Envy and I got a lot of respect for Envy because he actually admitted it on the Breakfast Club. You mm -hmm. you can rewind the tape. He said on camera like, "Yo, oh, I wouldn't play Pat Record back then because he was K Slay artist. Rest in peace to my brother K Slay. Rest in peace to K Slay. Peace you know what I'm K saying? Slay. And a lot of people felt like that. A lot of shit, little sucker shit like that went on. You know what I mean? I heard Gil speak about some of his experiences. You know what I mean? And I, I salute y'all. You know what I mean? But, bro, I had a lot of bullshit like that put in my way, man. So don't ever think when you see an artist speaking about being blocked in the music business that, that it's a game. Yeah, it's all fun and jokes. Because some people use it as an excuse for not being successful. But it's a small amount of us who niggas was really in fear and they stood in our way. And I'm going to say this. And I'm one, of them, I'm one of them individuals. But I still found my way, though. So y'all ain't stopping nothing. Shout out to DJ Drama. He came on. He told on me. And I was ready for game and said, oh, yeah, Gilly was on the black ball list. But that was just one of five people that came on here and, and I'm gonna say this admitted that I was on the list. And I'm gonna say this one time we had a, a clip go viral, and I'm gonna put some understanding to it. And Gil said, Man, we get money with the white people. And the reason he said that is because they know, as a lot of people in the industry know, a lot of times us black folk, what we do is we're staying in between the money, try to middleman some shit and say, you know what, Pat Poos, Remy Ma, somebody wanna do a TV show for y'all. They got, you know, they got 20 M's for y'all. They're not going to come and just bring that and say, I get a little fee. They're going to come and say, listen, man, we went through this show, man. I got 1.5. We're going to bless y'all, this, that, and third. Boom, boom, boom. And they're like, all right, cool. They'll try to get them to sign them, middleman and shit, block this money. And me and, me and Gil have seen situations like that. So when we say we get money with the white people, because the white people come and direct. They're not playing no games. They're going to cash you the fuck out, and they're going to measure your value from here to three years from now, two years from now, and they're going to sock it to your pocket like a rocket. They not they, they not gonna see Papoose and, 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 and Remy and be like, oh man, y'all doing your thing, y'all the shit, man. Keep doing it. Nigga, you get you in position. Why if we the shit? Man, What's up? Let's just tell the truth, man. Out of all the companies we was dealing with when we was re-signing, shout out to Amazon. Shout out to Spotify. Shout out to Spotify. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Barstool. When the black company came in, 
they offered us 40 times less than what the fuck we worth. No, 60 times. 60 times less than what we were from Spurs and said that shit like they was, don't, we going to offer y'all this. What, nigga? That shit was fuck. a joke. That's, that's fuck crazy. wrong with you, man? Mm. I mean, you well, know, you you got you got <laughs> fucked up people, man, in all different you know, I mean, walks of life, unfortunately. You know what I mean? You, you, you definitely got some. And most of the some, time for me, it'd be niggas. Right. You, be you, niggas. Definitely got, you definitely got, well... I'm gonna tell you like this. You definitely got some motherfuckers on that side of the fence. You know what I mean? Who'll do some bullshit too? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, but y'all got your own experiences. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I respect that. what y'all went through. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, we all we all been through child and tribulations in this shit. So we gotta we gotta yeah, speak off that. Experience is the teacher. Experience is the best teacher. No, we gotta so you gotta you gotta go off of that. that. Hey, when I think of all the people, my list of people that have fucked me over, they all different because she look like a rainbow. I, I yeah, can't yeah, even I think pin, you pinpoint no, it. But, it's, we, uh, but I, mine don't look like a rainbow though, because because mo most of the time my business right. So when my business right, you don't I, I don't end up doing no business with the niggas because they don't want to do right business. But what mm -hmm. happened with with a lot of times in this industry, especially like with me, I started when I was young. I was still in high school, so I was able to see different things from when I first started. To when I knew a little bit, to what like if I knew what I know now, when I first met Steve Rifkin, and when I was in high school, when I first met Pun, like it would it be crazy. Who I'd, I'd probably be Amazon. Like <laughs> yeah. you know what you know what it is too. It's a difference between nigga and nigga. Black, and no, nigga. it's a difference between niggas and, and black, black people. It's a difference. Well, I say that all the time, huh? I fuck with difference. black folks. It's a too. difference between nigga and nigga. You got to understand, right? When they threw us in that cell. Get in that cell, nigga. Yeah, that's a different When, when, when they murdered us, one. die, nigga. We ain't talking right? about that one. But no, let, let me elaborate. So then you got you got house niggas, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got failed niggas. Now, mm -hmm. you look at our generation, we flip that shit at, to the point where we like, you know what? That's my nigga. It's a term of endearment. Mm -hmm. Those type of individuals, that's where I come from. That's mm -hmm. who I grew up with. Mm -hmm. Those are solid you know what I mean? Real people who going to make sure you good. Nah, right. yo, yo, it's a bag over here for right. Gil. It's a bag for... Hold on, open that door. Show right. love. Now, in the house niggas, those are the ones that's going to do the sucker shit that y'all talking about. So, it's just like, it's, it's a separation. Like, oh, you know what I mean? But you know what? This is what I want to know from you. When was it in your career you trying to go that you peeped that shit and was it a moment where you was beat down where you was like, did you feel defeated? And what made you keep going and still be here? Because you still here yeah. amongst all the bullshit. But was it that moment where you was like, and you realized like, yo, is this shit really happening? Yeah, well, like, I, in I my was, city in New I York? I was fucked up. It fucked me up mentally because anybody who know the, the, my history, I know how I came up. I he came up. Shit. I came up standing on the front line when Sean Bell got shot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? 50 shots. I came up, uh, Al Sharpton and all them used to call me when, when things happened and went out there fighting for the people. But but it, it hurts your heart. Like even when my wife got in her situation, mm -hmm. when I circled back, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people lied in her situation. A lot of people yeah. don't know that they lied on the stand and all that. When her situation happened and the newspapers was attacking me for no reason, every other day they was just doing sucker shit. I went to visit my wife. I had my fucking keys. They said, Oh yeah, the handcuff key, try to break out wedding cancel. When they was doing sucker shit to me like that, I circled back to all them same people who I stood on the front line with. And I ain't get no calls back. I ain't get no assistance. Right. I ain't get no help. I've been on the y'all done called me to be the voice for y'all when I was at the peak of my career. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now that I need a little assistance, nobody got back to me. Nobody supported me. So that broke my heart for a second in that aspect. But as far as the music side, you know, I came straight off the street. I was young. I had that street mentality. And it was like, okay, dudes is hating on me. So now I'm gonna react. And I kind of dug a dig a deeper hole with that. Like we spoke who about earlier. Who told you they everybody you. was pussy though? They triggered you. Hold up. Hold on. Who told you? Who told you everybody's pussy? She crazy. She crazy. All the me. niggas that Both you think rest. is real pussy. <laughs> who told you that? No, who told you? Mm -hmm. Who I said I remember when you first I sat in there, I said, like, name all the rappers that you think is real, and I will tell who? No, he's pussy. I saw him get smacked in the back of his head. He didn't say that. He walked away. That's Gil. That was Gil to me. Oh, Gil no. was Gil to me that game. Oh, he's the, he's the worst. She screwed me. <laughs> she was here before me. So she, I thought this shit was you real. You thought everything was real. I Gil this shit said was real. this shit. <laughs> I thought this shit was real. Gil told me this shit. And that's man. what fucked me up. Because I'm like, okay, niggas is on some street shit. So we're going to get on some street so, shit. What, what oh, happened? No. I'm I mean, like, well, you, you can't you come in. You beat him up. He's going to call the cops on you. Wait, who? Oh, please leave them a super cop call. It's like he didn't super listen to see, you. See, my biggest, my big, I, I, when I look back, one of my biggest problems was I didn't grow up a rapper. 
Okay. So I didn't he give a basketball. fuck about no rappers. I didn't have cable TV. I never seen rap videos. <laughs> so whereas though, every nigga that I rap, we grew up a rapper. We get in a room with niggas. They like, damn, that's such and such. So I'm like, man, nigga corny as shit. We gotta rob the shit out of this nigga. Like that's how I'm thinking. I was not in awe with no rapper. I would have been like that if I seen Michael Jordan. Oh shit, Diggle Jordan. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Diggle Dr. J. I, right. So for me, it was like, niggas was corny, man. I'm just keeping it real. You will get around niggas and you like. So see, with me, it was it was like. And when like, you don't stroke niggas' egos, oh that they, that's no. that'll get so you black. I'm, I'm a girl, right? But I tell people mm, all the I'm time, not I'm not doing egos. it though. I done been in rooms where I see around. niggas flocking around niggas. Look. And I'm like, I'm not doing that, man. But, I'm over here with it, man. I, Fuck and they be mad at you. This nigga like and, that, and, and he throwing the bread. And that ain't mad at you. I'm not doing that. That ain't mad at you. I'm over here. I'm like, man, I can't do this type of shit. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> but but I've been in them events, bro. I've never been no professional dick hoster, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hold no niggas dick up, man. Yeah, true fact. But I tell I'm you all the time, I'm a girl. Like you said, that'll get you black people. But... I also tell people like I'm I'm the realest nigga that a lot of people have met before. I grew yeah. up around nothing but real niggas. Like all the guys that I grew up with, they're in jail with a gazillion years. They're dead or they're like like it, that's just how I grew up. So I know how people are supposed to move. Mm -hmm. Like you ask Fat Joe, he tell you his time. He tells story of his time. Like yo, most of the stuff you got into because rumors in the back. Like yo, y'all gonna let them niggas get away with that? Because <laughs> niggas, niggas, I go with them niggas <laughs> possible. I'm say they, they had put the fun. battery in niggas back. Like, oh, them niggas. Like hey, I'm just saying, the niggas that I grew up because niggas told me from the way, like yo, them niggas you with, you can't bring them niggas because they had to. I used to have a goons with me. Like we, we can't. All right, cool. So if I'm with y'all niggas, we what we doing? Right. They getting bunk beds in ICU or not? Nah. What's, yeah. what, what's happening? Yeah. So niggas was on go. So when I see certain shit, by the time it took me not, no amount of time to be like, oh, this shit fake. This shit just raps. Right. Nah. Just so rap. when sure. he came and I'm sitting there talking, like we started out, we was friends. I used to be sitting there like, I'm, I promise you, it's just words. <laughs> yeah. Listen to me. Please don't oh. set but, yourself up. By the time he, real. by time he it realized real. it, I was like, told you. It was too late. Because you got to understand, I came, I came fresh off the sidewalk. I know. So I'm like, yo, listen, man. If I ain't play with none of these niggas in the street, I'm damn sure not playing with these industry niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I thought it was going to be love. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm nice. I know how to rap. It's going to be love. I, I got a deal now. They're going to support me. And, and I'm going to see these niggas. I'm hitting Slay. I'm like, yo, Slay, hold on. You work at the station. So that mean I'm good now. I'm going to go. He like, nah, fuck them niggas. We don't need them niggas. They only on one night a week. I'm like, what you mean we don't need these niggas? Yeah. We need these niggas. They on every day. Yeah. So I'm going to run down to try to get support and I'm getting resistance. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. So it took me a long time. But while them niggas was mad though, because with that one night a week, I ended up getting a, a $1.5 million record deal, which was a lot at that time. Absolutely. We did yeah, that shit with lot. one night on the radio, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, without support. Eventually, niggas started fucking with me because they realized they ain't had no choice. Mm -hmm. But bro, I got a lot of hate. But it, at the history. time, it was it was a it was a bunch of DJs. See, I'm going to keep it all the way real, too. This kind of this fuck shit up, too. A bunch of DJs had rappers. So you had, like... Let me see if I remember this right. Like Green Lantern had somebody. Eventually he boomed in. Uncle Murder, it was mm -hmm, it? Or somebody? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eventually. K Slate had Papoose. Mm -hmm. DJ Clue Fab. had Fab. Right? A couple other DJs in New York had rappers. So now it's it like a battle. It's a battle. And niggas It's like, okay, these. he hot, but I'm playing my art right, because I'm trying to get money now. Right. You feel what I'm saying? This yeah. is bigger than just putting the artist on and playing hot records. No, this is actually my artist. I'm trying to turn this into some money. So if I touch Papoo shit, it's going to be, all right, get that shit out of here. Oh, new such and such. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> all the <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> The same thing <laughs> Gay Slate was doing for you. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? If he going to touch somebody's shit, that shit going to be chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> I'm going to get that shit out of here. New Papoos. Oh, my God. But you know, you know, Slate, you know Slate was a lot different, though. Right. Yeah. Slate wanted them niggas. You know. Right. You know what I mean? He don't give a fuck, fuck who you yeah. is. If you, you gonna, nice, listen, Slate going to fuck you, with you. You can walk in the Slate. Slate going to fuck with you if you if you nice, oh, yeah. I'm not letting you sit here and tell that lie, bro. He was dragging it with you to the point that he was getting. Nah, see, she was one of my haters. No, no, he was. She was one of my haters. He was dragging. Was dragging. She was one of my haters. Nah, 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 no, nah, nah. Hold on, we're gonna put this in perspective. Rest in peace. She was one of my haters. Slay was one of those. She was one of my haters. He played you 86 times in a row, nigga. He was one of my haters. Tell the truth. Me, bro, I was the, I was the nicest nigga. I was the, the nicest nigga. You, you, I was the hottest nigga. That shit was warranted. 
Nah, son, that wasn't what it was. I'm gonna tell you the difference. I'm gonna break it down for you, Gil. Fab and Clue came way before me. Yeah, they did. You know what I'm saying? When I came and what me and Slade did, our impact, that's why all them other niggas started getting artists. Yeah. Cause they seen, oh, this shit is really reacting. Yeah. You gotta understand, this is K Slade model. He don't give a fuck. You just came out the penitentiary, or you, or you rap, all right, I'm gonna give you one shot. After yep. that one shot, if you don't capitalize off it and that shit don't connect, it's on you, you out of here. I'm not gonna be here, sitting here playing this every week. Yeah, he don't See, the difference with me was when he gave me that one shot, I ran with it. Yeah. He seen the burrow behind me, he seen the movie, so my shit was authentic. I, yeah. I, I earned my love, you know what I'm saying? So that's why he consistently fucked with me and eventually right. signed me. You gotta understand, I got signed to Slay by aggressively going to the radio. I stood in front of the radio station and waited for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got in a situation, I was on Ranger Silent, and long story short, I, I looked around, I said, yo, the only thing beneath being incarcerated is being dead. Mm -hmm. You gotta wait and ask for permission to use the All phone. You gotta, uh, I got a visit. I went, uh, uh, had to switch into the fucking visit clothes. Yeah. The shit smelled horrific in that motherfucker. I'm like, man, when I get up out of here, I'm, I'm gonna take this music serious. I heard this nigga on the radio, and he was doing some shit that I ain't see done ever. I've been a student of hip hop since I was a little nigga. He was playing new niggas on the radio. I said, when I get out of here, I'm gonna go meet that nigga. I ain't hustling no more. I ain't doing none of that shit. Niggas was mad at me. I came home, bro. I, I recorded um, seven songs. I made my CD. I went in the motherfucking encyclo um, Yellow Pages, because we didn't have motherfucking Google yeah. and all that shit then. Yeah. I found the address to Hot 97, 395 Hudson, and I went and stood in front of the radio. Mm. That nigga Slay came down. I said, yo, my name is Papoose, man. He said, all right, all right, kept it moving. I went back to the hood. Yo, I'm gonna be on the radio. Let's listen. Nigga ain't played my shit, bro. Mm -hmm. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna go back next week. I went back next week, waited for him again. I did that shit again. Yo, my name is Papoose. Same shit, bro. I run back to the hood. He ain't play my shit again. I said, next week when I go up there, bro, I'm going to wait at the station. That way, if this nigga don't play my shit, you're going to have to tell me why he ain't play my shit. Mm. So I'm, I'm waiting. I'm in the car. I'm listening to shit. He go off at 2 o'clock. It's like 150 something. I said, damn, he ain't play my shit yet. He's screaming a number to the radio on the, on the air. I said, fuck it. I'm going to call up. Call this nigga. I called up. Yo, the nigga picked up. I said, yo, what's up? Yo, as soon as he heard my voice, he knew who I was. He said, yo, listen, man. Everybody can't be a rapper. Some people gotta be a fireman. I said, oh shit. But why he, why me and him going back and forth on the phone? The shit comes through the airwaves. So he didn't even know for me, nigga, I made it. Mm -hmm. I just was uh having a conflict with a nigga that was on the air. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, he tried to play me. Mm -hmm. He come down, I'm waiting for him. I'm like, it's up to this nigga. Mm -hmm. He come down, we and him going straight at each other. And when that happened, the nigga who was with him took my CD. He was like, yo, I got you. For some reason, I believed that nigga. I broke out, I'm back in the hood, I'm in a situation where I'm about to throw my life away. You know what I'm saying? Like I just got out of a bad situation at a funeral. Mm -hmm. And as I'm peeling off, because my number was on the CD, my phone rang. I picked the phone up, it was K Slay. He said, yo, man, you on the radio next week. I went up there, Prodigy and all them niggas was there, rest in peace, Prodigy. I rapped on the air, the rest was history for me, bro. But I only tell, tell you that story to say that I earned my love. You know what I'm saying? I had a, I had a, I had a, she could tell you. I had an army behind me, not just because I was a rap nigga who was, uh, and niggas wanted to eat off her, because I was a real nigga, and niggas knew, even though he a real nigga, this nigga rap his ass off, mm -hmm. and they wanted to see me win. So it's different. Yeah. When you, when, it's different what Slay was doing for me right. than what them other niggas was getting done, because my shit was resurrecting in the penitentiary. I was doing Lord Library. Yeah. Uh, politicians was calling me. I was touring overseas with no deal. Right. I went three years with Slay with no deal. Right. Niggas thought I was on. I ain't had no deal. Niggas was blocking me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Say so this. it was a little different for me. I'm going to say this. I'm so fucking glad you told that story in this day and time. Because people don't know the blessings that they got that they could just upload something and their life can change. The consistency and the determination that you have, that's what's in winners. And a lot of people in this time, a lot of the kids, a lot of, and some of the, even some of the people from our generation adapted to this new mindset of right now. It's I need it right now. It's the microwave, and, and listen, the microwave generation. Listen, you know how many per, you know how many people after that phone call, after he didn't play him the first down, would have went back to the hood, man. That nigga hating on me. Fuck that. Everybody hating on somebody if they don't give you nah, instant it's a gratification. Fact. It's a fact. Or if they don't support what you want immediately. Fuck what I got going on. I just gotta jump. You just said I went back, I went back, I went back, I went back. I even got a little thing with him. I called. You didn't give up. That's what y'all people don't understand. If you ain't go to New York back in the day, wherever he was from, you wasn't getting the fuck off. Fuck the miles you put yo, on Wallo, them Tahoe's, I ain't had nothing else to. I ain't had, I ain't had <laughs> nothing else to do. Fuck the New York man. Yo, Wallow, I ain't had nothing else to do, bro. I don't understand niggas that go to jail and keep going back. I only need to be on Ragged Sound in two weeks. I said, yo, man. I'm glad you. I, I said, if this gonna I'm be glad my future, you mentioned how long yeah, it was. I said, like, if, oh yeah, I got out. 
Oh After yeah. Oh, I, I was in C ninety five. I ain't need it. I ain't need to keep going back. <laughs> when I was in there, I said, "Yo, oh, but hold on, I didn't tell you, dude. That shit was long. <laughs> Don't fucking do us <laughs> like that." That shit was the longest Yo, y'all gonna stop fucking days. Act like we did something life. wrong for no, not getting caught. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> Together, <laughs> they whole bit is like a month. It's like a month. But fucking I'm gonna, right. A but month I'm gonna say this. I get caught. I'm gonna say this to the young people out there. I ain't gonna front, man. The day in jail is too much, especially when you could be out here living the life. Yo, man, it's just too much because it's like you know, it's so much to live for, and everybody on this couch right now know. We didn't have no fucking satellite in our pocket. So mm. the opportunities you have to get a job, to start a company, do whatever. Mm -hmm. You, like a motherfucker, upload a song a day and be a millionaire next month. Y'all ain't just hear me say I use the Yellow Pages? Yellow look Pages. A nigga up. They don't know what the Yellow Pages is. Right. That's Google now. There's fucking uh, iPhone. That's Google now, Yellow Pages. Mm. You can just type, I want to go in. Yellow Pages, like, they don't even know. They used to come to your house once a year and they had every restaurant, the banks, Hell the yeah. lawyers, and you, you, you in alphabetical order. You had he went through there and found the station, and went up there. That shit crazy, man. Yeah, man, nah, it's real shit. I ain't had no no option, bro. When I seen how niggas was living in there, I'm like, I'm doing all this hustling and all this shit. This is my future. Nah, I gotta go do that rap shit, bro. I gotta take it serious though. Right. And I took that. I was selling my CDs five dollars, bro. Right. At the car wash, everywhere I went, my and, homie started selling them, taking their little cut and giving me my bread. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. First of all, man, before we go any further, I want to give you your flowers, man. Gotcha. Because, you know. Thank you, bro. It's always the opposite way. A nigga go to jail when a woman hold him down. Yeah, that's major, bro. You know what I mean? You never, never see it the other way around. Where a female go to jail and a nigga hold her down. And I got to say this. You, I've never seen you that never in my that. life. You never see that. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm the realest nigga that you ever met. Yeah. Okay. Right, so <laughs> I knew you was threatening him over the phone. Don't come to be out there acting goofy. You ain't gonna get no money, nigga. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you. You, off know, the you know my Yo, nigga was doing a gazillion years came home. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo Wallo, me send him yeah. through the house. You, you could test him if it, and both of y'all could vouch for this, bro. Growing up in the hood, they always tell us. Yo, man, bitches ain't shit. Yeah, you ever shit. get locked up? You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna hold you down. All that shit. All that shit, right? But I tell you this, when I was when I used to go visit her, bro, that motherfucking visiting floor, because she in a maximum facility. It's all females. All in women then visit. But hold floor. on, I'm ain't gonna get to that yet. When I used to go to Ragged Sound and visit my homies, right? It's fucking women up there in the snow. They push a stroller. I don't care. They, they get fighting in there, bro. to get in that motherfucker. They're getting there with the baby. When I went, when I started going to visit her, bro, we the only one on the visiting floor. The whole shit empty. So I, that shit taught me, and y'all say, yo, these bitches don't support, they won't ever hold you. Them niggas the real bitches. Mm -hmm. Because y'all say the women don't hold us down, but why the male facility is full of visits with women and babies, mm -hmm. and the female facility is mothers, grandmothers, yep, everybody. Y'all not even visiting them, bro. Right. I was the only, me and two other niggas, we, we know each other. We the only ones who was visiting our ladies, you know what right. I'm saying? So that shit taught me a lot, too. No, and, and you got to give your flowers for that because, like, that's why y'all, you could just... Like, just y'all energy being around, you can tell y'all shit is just so strong on a real organic, real level. This ain't got nothing to do with no Instagram. This before all this shit. This this was work. And and, and I want to just give y'all props and salute y'all because ain't people got to learn in relationships to start doing the work off of social media. Y'all ain't grow up in... Like, everybody everybody, uh, everybody outlook of a, of, a, of a healthy relationship is some shit they doing on social media. But the work y'all did off, them visits, them phone calls, mm. the writing the letters, the, the, the really loving each other when nobody looking, when the cameras ain't there. Like, everybody life revolved around this. When everybody counted y'all out. That's Listen, real shit. Yeah. I, like a motherfucker, bro. You know what, what you're bro. saying? It's, it's in every relationship, mm. though. It's not even just, like, in... Friendships, family. Yo, people really... I, I've lost... Because of Instagram. Friend. That's some real oh, shit. You ain't post me. I don't, I don't, when people die, I don't be posting it. Uh, I think the only person I might have posted was, was DMX. Mm -hmm. my, my grandmother. Like, I, I'm not posting. Like, when something, somebody that's close to that I love, it doesn't, my first thought is not like, oh, let me post about it. Like, it never occur, occurs to me. Birthday, Joe, it's my birthday. You know, the only person that every year, like, presses me and be like, yo, Joe. Yo, you know I'm be right since you gotta lag right now. How much you love? like he don't he don't care. He's gonna press me all day until I post. I'll be like, all right, I love Fat Joe. He's my brother. It's his birthday. <laughs> go go whatever. But besides him, like I feel like a lot of people they feel like if it didn't happen on social media, it didn't happen. Like, well, I, you ain't posted. It, it's so. okay for the, the fact that I called you this yes. morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Nine thirty. Yes. Happy birthday, yeah, man. Yeah. What you doing today? Uh, none, what's, none I wish I was about matters. to give you a cash app. None the of cash that Fuck the cash app. Fuck the call. Uh, just post you on social media. 
I'm I, yeah. I'm the total opposite. Like me, like I literally, my my friend Juju she curses me all the time. Her and, and my and my daughter, they be like, yo, you got mad fire. Why you don't post it? Like I'm not a. Po- I come from an era where that'll get you dead. Like <laughs> <laughs> like not even kill. That'll get you dead. Like. Right. I don't want people to know where I'm at. Yeah. I'm not going live where I'm somewhere. Like even when people ask me for pictures, a lot of times like, oh, she she ain't shit. I had to take a picture. Fuck up. Like no, because you're gonna post this. I don't want nobody to know where I'm at. I don't want to post where why I'm here. Right. Like I don't know. I don't feel like I have any major beef like that right, right. now. But I don't know how people feel. Right. You don't know what, or even people just that be wanting to run into you. I don't want them to be like, oh, that's what she have going over there now. Like right. no, I don't like it. I don't like being on live. I don't like posting where I'm at. And then there's certain moments that I just have. Like, I go to concerts. I like going to concerts. I've been doing concerts my whole life, but a lot of them I watch from backstage. Right. I watch from the side of stage. Right. So now whenever I have it, I buy tickets. Right. I want to watch the concert. I don't want to Take watch it through my phone. They be like, yo, you got video? No, I don't have no video. My phone mm. was in my pocket. Like, mm. I was watching it. Mm. I'm very adamant about posting stuff on social media. And I used to do it because that's what it, people expect you to do. Now I'm like... I'm not posting nothing. My, I have one friend all the time. She's like, "Yo, you don't brag enough." Like, "Yo, let me let me come to your, <laughs> you don't brag let enough. me let me come to your crib and just film some shit. You ain't using it." And I'm just like, "No, that's that's not me. Like, I've never to me if you had to do that, you was corny. Mm-hmm. Like, if you had it, you just had it. If you was fly, you was fly. You got the new jacket, the new just, like. I literally get everything the same time everybody else get it. Mm-hmm. I know when it comes out, like it's certain shoes, clothes that ain't even hit yet, but because we are who we are, we mm-hmm. get it." I be watching certain people post. I be like, yo, bitch, I know your box just came today because mine just came right. today. <laughs> like, you fiending so right. bad to be yeah. the first one to post it. Like, to me, like, it's, it's I don't live like that. Right. And I can't. Like, I, nah, it plays, I it haven't plays a major part. been able to conform to that. Like, as far as using it for my business and stuff like that, cool. But just me regular, like, oh, we over here. We had million dollars. Ah, I see what it is. Like, yeah. people be posting too much. You, you, they they'd have caught your license plate all the time. I'm like, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. See, but if you, if you use it for positive, I, I fuck with it like, like, like Gil do. You know what I mean? Him and too. He's showing that black love. I fuck with that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I love it. I love watching that. I enjoy it. It's still a but job. But like Wallow said earlier, that shit a job. <laughs> you, you can't put your problems. Motherfuckers get mad at their fucking brother or their sister and they go on social oh, no, media no, no. and no, start no. shitting on let, them. Let, 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 you don't, <laughs> let, you, let you say no, Ed, you didn't loan the motherfucker $100,000. No, uh-huh. man, I ain't got $1,500 this time. Niggas ain't real. Yo. Niggas You like, damn, bro. Oh, like, that's when you can like, tag me in. Because I'm you, coming from my you know room, a nigga hey, number. Nigga, where you at? Like, yeah. like I, that's he he be mad at me. He like, yo, why you I don't respond? say nothing, bro. What? That's I'm not when you're getting I'm going to wait till I see yeah, you. Nah, like, I'm not going to argue with you on social at? media, It's like, bro, I'm not why doing you had that energy? You ain't post nothing when I looked out anytime I sent you a picture. Wow. Why you ain't salute me then? Wow. So I can't say nothing. A motherfucker say, oh, Pat Poo's got Wife, the kids, bills, insurance, health care. You got all this shit you take mm-hmm. care of as a man in today's society when you got a bunch of motherfuckers out here, family members, friends, they don't want to work for the lifestyle that they want to have. They want to use your money to go out mm-hmm. here and live a lifestyle that you're not. You don't go party. You don't go to Miami. Exactly. But they want to do that. Even go that, get drip. You know, <laughs> even that is to a certain extent because you could give them, give them, it and it still don't be enough. I tell Joe all the time, you have to, I be like, yo, they don't want you want what you give them. They want what you got. Like you can give, give, give. It's Man, still never. Heavy. It's never gonna be enough. It's mm. never gonna be enough. They don't people, want what you give. Them. Certain, they want what yeah, you got. they want what you got. It's certain people that they feel like, like I've had to tell people like, yo, you think I owe you? Cause I know you. Like niggas, like oh, I, 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 I know her. We. When the last time you talked to me? If you didn't see right. me in the last six months, you probably don't even know me. I changed. <laughs> well, I know from right. high We as a high school, I know her. We got to reintroduce school, ourselves. We ain't talked in the last well, six the months. I got to reintroduce nigga. myself. I, I didn't change, nigga, I I'm, I'm, I'm really not. I'm really not. I promise right. you I'm different. And there's certain people that feel like you owe them just because, like, I promise you. I had to break it down to somebody one time. Like, it was a girl that I was locked up with. And she was telling me, she was like, yo, they be mad at you. They like they told me, like, yo, if that's your friend, why are you working two jobs? And I was like, wait, what? Like, hold on. Can I stop you real quick? Can I, oh, can I stop you real quick? Can I stop you real quick? Anytime somebody say some dumb shit like that to me, I ain't saying, that's some shit that they saying. Right. Don't don't speak. They're, they're remix shit. Yeah, damn, man. I mean, damn, you you know, I mean, Remy got, Remy your sister, or Remy your, your girl, she got all this money. Why you... Why are you working? Why? Because that's your life and this is my life. Mm-hmm. Fuck you mean? 
Like, like, what about all the responsibility? You supposed to jump over everything you got to do for your babies, for your husband, you for think your you life. Get in front of that line, but no, fuck no, my you, nigga, you you ain't even on the line. So nigga. that's so that's my thing. This one particular one, like she she that's that's my dog. That's the one that when I was locked up, like she using my numbers while I'm in while I'm in shoe. Like yo, she in shoe again. She sending packages. She's out. Like yeah. that that's my girl. So she like she had to tell him like yo, she she got a whole family like. Let's be realistic. Do you know how many people is before the people that I met in prison? Mm. Like, actually, I met y'all by accident. I wasn't right. supposed to meet Jesus. y'all motherfuckers. Right, right, right. That was a mistake. Right. But I got my mom, my grandmother, my sisters, my brothers, aunts, my aunts, my cousins, my nieces, my other but my other friends that I knew. But like, you know how far down the list you are before I start paying your shit? Right. Like, you crazy, but you got grown ass. Men, I have me as a woman. I have grown as men that really be feeling like I owe them something. I owe you nothing. Like actually, right. you keep acting like I owe you something. Something I haven't to you. My me thing alone. is this, like, man. My like, thing, my thing is this, bro. I had to, anybody who know me will tell you I had the same phone number, bro. Since before I got on, it he's never of, changed. He's out of his mind. Yo, yo, bro. Let me tell you something. Give, give, yo, if a nigga that know me go on social y'all? media and talk about me, you's a super bitch. Bro, you bro, know how to find me. Bro, my number on, ever never on, changed. Hold bro. on, you you know gravy. They used to be with Red Cafe. Mm-hmm. And we just was on a plane with Gravy today. today. He get on the plane. He sit down first class right behind me. He say, "Yo, Gil, what's your number?" I give him my. I punch my number that in his phone. Time. That nigga said, "Nigga, <laughs> you still got the <laughs> same to me all the time. number." I said, "Nigga, I had my number for twenty four years. I'm the same nigga. Bro. I ain't running from nobody. I ain't, I ain't running got from to change nothing, nothing. nigga." Y'all I ain't running crazy. from nobody, nigga. So if, if I don't want to talk to you, nigga, I ain't answering. There you go. There you go. But nigga, if it's an issue, just call me. You, you know how number. to fucking reach me. Everybody. But you got go my on number. social media. But, no, but you know and what? Do that sucker you, shit. You know what happened? Wait you know, till you see me though. This, this what happened and fuck fuck things up for me and be sad when I see it. When I see niggas from our generation that posted been from the streets. Well, you see, on you see, on you see so-called up, real niggas. I'm like, the fake what? Shit? What is we doing? Like, bro, Yo, you went crazy. on the gram to try. Like, when like, I'm seeing street niggas trying to get clout, like, we never did that. You know what it is, though, nigga, Wallo? They not. They never were street niggas. Nope, they got they exposed. They exposed. In my hood, it was niggas who was portraying to be real and they got their skirt lift up. And guess what? You ain't real no more, yeah, nigga. You real never real. was real. No. You was doing a good job front. Absolutely. When a nigga go on social media and do that shit, bro, nah. You ain't who you say you was. Get the fuck out of here, man. And, and at the end of the day, too, right? My whole thing is, you be having old niggas doing goofy shit that wasn't doing goofy shit when they was young niggas. Mm. They be you like, you, you wasn't even this nigga when you was a young nigga. I thought you was a smooth nigga. I thought you was a player. I thought you was this. I thought you was a hustler. I thought you was no. a boss. Now... The roar of the crowd is gone, and you on social media doing dumb shit. Doing weird shit. And my thing is like Because you don't hear the roar of the crowd no more, so you so now the real you is coming out. Because mm-hmm. see, when everybody first come in the game, and that shit take off, they could play, they could be whoever they want to be. Mm-hmm. When your fans love you, you can lie to them, tell them whatever they want to hear. You could be whoever you want to be. Mm-hmm. But then when the roar of the crowd is gone, now, is you still going to be the nigga you said you was? Hmm? Oh, yeah. One thing any nigga know about Gilly, he always been Gilly, man. Think about that. That nigga just always been Gilly. And you know what's crazy about that? I'm going to say this to you, Pebbles. All them niggas that got a problem with you, that might have said this about you, said that about you. I just want to know one, especially if a nigga, because you know, everybody play the victim when they don't get what they want. They'll play the nigga magically the victim or people the victim or I'm this, I'm depressed, all this dumb shit. Let me ask them a question. Did all the motherfuckers post you when you got the position, the head of hip hop at TuneCore? Mm. Did they? That's all I want to know. Because everybody quick to say they fuck with you. Did, did y'all post my... Not, and it ain't about the there post. It's about, did you celebrate me? Did you hit me up? Did like, bro, celebrate. that's major. You make history, bro. You an executive now. There you go. Like, you, you, you switched the game. You really can help people now. Mm-hmm. You can get them advice about... This is what the code, this is what we need to do. We need to do this. This is gonna be better for the artist. Right. This is gonna be better for us. You know what like, they do in that moment? They stand down. Man, and that's what they you say. Get quiet. You gotta watch the motherfuckers who stay silent. Watch them too. Because when they know they can add on to your situation and they do that sucker shit, it speaks for itself. Like, bro, listen, I'm gonna just say this. What you did, I'm like, damn, that's major. That's because you don't see too many people from hip hop getting these getting these executive positions. To make things better for the people that's gonna come after them, cause you you know all the fucked up shit that happened to you. Exactly. So now bro. you know the shit that happened to your wife. So now 
You sitting back with her, going to be at the crib eating, babe, listen, I got to do this. What you think about this? She going to give you game. No, because you remember this happened to me and this happened. I think we should do this. You should switch this up or you should make this better for the artist or they should create this, this little thing. It could be one little thing that y'all could change within the system that would be more beneficial to the artists that's uploading their music. That's and why I'm for. so happy to be in this position because going through all the shit I went through as an artist, shit that me, we were speaking about earlier as far as Gil and a lot of situations, bro, some people got the mentality of, Oh fuck that! It was hard for me, so these little niggas gotta do, go through the hard, no. the hard. Way. My no. mentality is nah. No. It was hard for me. I want to make it easier for the young homies. Nah, no. you understand know what I'm saying? So absolutely, bro. I do shit that's beyond my job. I don't even right. got. It's not even my job description. Just to make it easy, artists to come on in, bro, and, and verify that. Right. Just to make their life easier, I spend money out my pocket. I'm up there having meetings about you know adding different budgets, uh, endorsement budgets, so artists can yeah. have you know certain marketing. Because I know what it's like to be an artist, and you got to come out your pocket, and you don't get lie. that return. I, I right didn't have it as bad as you did. Anytime somebody did some shit to me, it was up. See, like, she was moving out. Okay. It, it was. Uh, I'm petty too. Like I'm, I'm, I'm so petty. Like all that support shit, that shit go hand in hand. Like I wait, I do summer jam. I have a stack of tickets this high. This call me like for tickets. You got tickets? Yep. They on my mantle. Go buy some. Mm-hmm. Because when it's so and so concert, y'all go buy them. They go right. buy them. But because y'all know me, y'all wait till the day before or the day of. Everybody, he <laughs> over here, bless you. He he the worst, yo. I start seeing big people in my dress. I'm like, what? Like, they called me. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, I bro? Look out, I look out for, pe- for family. I look out for family. I don't care what your fuck. last name like, is. If it's smoke, it's up, it's up. Nah, I be having to tell people, Me, I got to look out for certain like, people, man. You my family because that just happened. Like, <laughs> Damn, I didn't, this shit just happened. Nah, I didn't <laughs> pick you, bro. If I could have picked Damn, Obama would have been my oh, father. I didn't pick you. I didn't pick you. But you know what? As a husband, I tighten that up. Obama would have been my father. Beyonce would have been my sister. I'd have had somebody like, what? I'd have really been. She breaks shit down to the, to the lowest form. Yeah. Nah, because people think about <laughs> it. I've been accused a lot of times by friends and my family members like, oh, you treat your friends better than your family. It's because I fucking picked them. Right. I like them. They had to earn my trust. They had to earn my love. They had to earn my respect. We have things in common. That's why we're friends. That's why I love them. I didn't pick you motherfuckers. Yo, like, y'all just fucking that's game, came. That's I just game. woke up. And y'all was you was my cousin, you was my aunt, right. you was my this, you was that. Damn. And she, she loved her family. I she automatically, family. I automatically, I ain't. Lo- I don't love all, all of them. Don't he's, I don't all like love. all y'all motherfuckers. Y'all know that. Uh, uh, he's real. not. If she you question him, it's you. I don't like. I love y'all. Him. God damn it. So you watching? That's because y'all he don't know, know y'all like I know y'all. Anyway, mm-hmm. you you get the family members, and you just you just love your family because that's what we're taught. You just love them. Yeah, they're your family. They never had to earn your trust. Like think of all the the the. Stops that your friends have to go through to get close to you, for them to know your inner secrets, for them to know your body, you know, like whatever. Whether you're in a physical, romantic relationship or friendship, there are certain levels that people have to get to to get close to you. Right. Your family never have to go through that. Right. They just, you automatically love your cousins. You love your sisters and brothers. Mm-hmm. Nah. And if you really sit down and think about the people that ever fucked you over the your most- Your family. It's people that know you. <laughs> the best. Yes. It's people yeah. that know you, supposed to love you. So, yeah, I treat people how I feel like it. And people don't be liking that. And I'm I don't start, be hearing. I, I like that's game. I'm going to start thinking like that. I don't even like you, man. My Bro. motherfucker uncle just fucked your mom, man. And like, you, exactly. Nah, blood blood, blood thicker than water, y'all. Blood thicker than water. Yeah, I mean, not, I don't fuck with you like that. Blood thicker than water, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, 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 I handle each person accordingly. You know, I, And I learned that from being away. Because a lot of my so-called family, wasn't they there. wasn't there. The people that I least... Ex- Yo, shout out to my DJ, DJ Bedtime. Yo, he was my DJ, Shout out to my guy, bro. Bedtime. He was my DJ. If I am t- if I call him, like, just randomly, like, Yo, let me call check him. And I'm like, yo, he's like, what you doing? Nothing, I'm sitting here chilling. And we could just be talking about something randomly. I was like, yo, I had a dream. He was like, yo, I had a dream. I had some Reese's peanut butter cups crazy... I literally hang up the phone with him. They'd be like, yo, yo Smith, you got to visit. I go downstairs. He doesn't, yo, I dropped you off some, some peanut butter cuts. Like, he would leave his job I think it was real, on man. lunch break it's for something that he just heard me talk about on a conversation. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, I can't stay. I can only be here like 15. I got to go back to work. But, you know, I stop. Or when I would get in trouble, like, I would get tickets. You know, they got a certain amount of time to process your yeah. ticket. So 
I would be like, yo, it's a tier three. If I get this one, trailer visits is canceled. I need to visit oh, every man. day, eight o'clock in the bro. morning. So I used to be I able to, be to he would be able to do it, but some days he couldn't do it. Like we call him, he'll go call in late to work and come make sure he's at the prison at eight o'clock in the morning. So they can't take me to disciplinary. Like those, that's the shit that he I look at. The speed up there. How far like, was you from the prison? For me, I, I, I actually moved my crib so I could be closer to the to the prison. So, so how far? So where you? I lived at, I was forty minutes. Damn, that was but, like, if I speed and catch the get there before count, I get there forty minutes. Oh, 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 you was y'all had con- y'all was able to get consequential visits where y'all was at. Yeah. Oh, oh, nigga, you was cool. Eventually, you, listen, you Eventually. was cool. <laughs> that nigga was cool. <laughs> y'all was cool. Oh shit. Eventually, yeah. eventually so that's what uh, she was telling y'all. So I come on, sometimes I come oh, to visit her. So right? it was of course easy, was up there, though. Nigga, you wasn't going to miss it. was her. easy to hold that down. That nigga ain't going to miss I thought he was holding nah, that nah, down nah, like nah. this. Nah. Ah, with old pictures. <laughs> 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 I thought he was at the crib. Oh, <laughs> that nigga had it. Basically. Oh, nah, that shit was a process, though. <laughs> Daddy, what you doing today? Close the door. This nigga's stupid. Stupid. Your mom on the phone. <laughs> nah, that shit was a process. You know how, you know it's a process. Yeah. But that's what she was trying to explain to y'all. So certain times I come to visit her, we got the, the conjugal visit set up in a couple of days or whatever. And they put they sit me down and they're like, oh nah, you sitting over there. So when you sit, that section is people that's in the box. You're like, what the fuck, fuck is I'm you in the over box? There, I just spoke to her. You beefing now. Y'all we beefing. I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm tight. She come out here. Well, what had happened was I got in this like, fight. See? I'm like, you some... oh, nah, because they used to be acting crazy. I used to try to tell people. I felt like Gilly, like, yo, I'm really not a rap. I just happen to know how to rap. I would really Damn. fuck one of y'all bitches up in here. I don't know who Damn. told y'all. Get the fuck out of my cube. Get away from my cell. I know I'm not sending no autograph to your fucking cousin at home. I'm in jail, bitch. No. Like, I used to yo, be mad. Yo, yo. Mm-hmm. So like, let me find out. He he, he up there, H.H. hot and horny. He like, this shit, you really <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, it's been a and couple I come weeks, out like boss. this. <laughs> you know, niggas get to talk to my tear that ass. Yo, oh, <laughs> he get up there like this. They like, ah, sit over there, buddy. Uh-huh. Now, I'm supposed to be shit. over here. I'm, I'm getting some today. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming off the shelf today. <laughs> where, where you mean uh, sit over there? <laughs> nah, buddy, get over there. He going on real dates. He over there like this. Wish you come see. Dumb shit. He like, man, uh-huh, I'm done uh-huh. with you, man. But that's it, it because crazy. he didn't under- it was It was a couple of times that she gotta fight I was out of pocket. But, but... Like, was that last year? Last year, the year before last, I had a birthday party. So now all my friends is home. Like, it was a minute where, like, some of them was like, wait, so you remain buddies with them people? Yes. Oh, all my old oh, friends. Cool, my so, 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 so now listen. So listen. <laughs> yeah, piece of shit. So, <laughs> so listen. Piece of shit. Write your name down. I got you. Hey, piece of shit. All y'all niggas write your name down. Man, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. Listen, my friends that were, you know, my friends prior to that, like I I hang out with my dear friends more than them. Like I know them, but we grew up together, but I don't really rock with them like that. Like the people that I hang with, the people that, like I said, when I would I be in the box, they was risking because you could people don't understand, like you could be in jail, in jail. Yeah, in jail, in jail. So we say that people that was like risking. Being get in jail too, sliding me food, so food, calling, yeah. doing all type of shit. Like, or it'd be times where I'll go to, we'll get it, get into it together. And they'd be like, yo, I'm going to just take the rap for the ticket because you got your trailer coming. And they'll go to the box. And there'd be times like the last time I went where he was really, really mad. Like, it was like one of those situations. And my friend, she was from Buffalo. And her mom was coming down. I'm like, yo, I'm just saying everything was me. Fuck it. They, want, they wanted me in it. It is after my life every fucking day anyway. Tell me that part. So, I have a birthday First party. Time on main line's work for game, the truth came I have out. a birthday party. Listen, I have a birthday party. We go around the table. It's like two years ago. We have a birthday party. My French, they all at the table. Once they win my crib. So, oh, we all gonna say something that we know about Ram that everybody might not know. This one bitch just start telling all the jail secrets. <laughs> like, bitch, no, I'm at the end of the table, like. Damn. Nah, like she's telling her, like, yeah, so then the one time, and we was in the cell, and then like, Rem came, and knocked on the door, she's no like, yo, parties. these bitches in the shower, we going to the shower, and then she went to the box for like three months, and he looking like... You like you never coming to no more like, parties. Nah, nah, it's not for <laughs> It's a lot but... of shit, though. It's a lot of shit. When she, when she first got locked up, bro, I'll never forget. Because you know, in order to conquer, they got to divide first. Yeah. Like, I went through so much bullshit, but I remember when she first got to Bedford Hills, matter of fact, I take it back to Rankin's Island, and we had, we had the wedding set up, right? So I got me, my mother-in-law. And my mother, you, you with your mother-in-law and your mother, so you know you positive. I got the suit on, mm-hmm. she got her dress, everything is ready to go. We go to the jail, we go to the uh, metal detectors, I take my keys out, I throw my keys in the motherfucking tray, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So one of the police is like, oh, uh, you can't have this. 
I said, "Why? What's wrong?" He said, "Oh, um, the cuff key, skeleton key, right?" He said, "All right." He said, "What you want me to do?" I said, "I don't care. Throw it away." He threw it in the garbage. My mother went through the metal detector. My mother-in-law went through. We get on the bus, go over to the facility, waiting for her. They come over there with me. Yo, come with us. They throw me in the cell. I said, no, you suited up. You got your suit on, and they you ready to marry you, your wife, and they mm-hmm. throw you in, they the throw cell, me in the cell. Like you're in, you're not in jail, bro. They throw me. In I'm the not cell. no fucking. It. So check it. They throw me in the cell for like an hour. What you? Pie? They let me out the cell. I don't know what's going on. Check it. I don't know what's going on. They let me out of the jail. I go get on the bus. I go because you know anybody know who familiar with Rankin Sound? Ever visit somebody? You get on the bus. That bus takes you over to the parking lot where your vehicle is. I get off the bus to go to my vehicle. Motherfucking Channel Five, the Daily News. Hey, why'd you do it? What's going on? <laughs> why'd you do I'm it? I'm like, you yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Headline news: Papoose tried to break Remy Ma out of jail with a handcuff key. Yeah, How you gonna break out of jail? You cannot no, I ain't get see that. I know the headlines. How you gonna get, hey, you gonna get out of jail? I know the, the headlines shit. on that was crazy. That's why these bro, niggas was like, boy, that boy a pussy whip. Bro, he wanna get trying to break out. You some sucker shit. Like, but so how you it. gonna break out? I- check it though. Check it. So now they ban me. I'm banned. I can't visit her. Well, they try to fuck y'all over. I can't. I can't visit her. I can't do nothing now, right? So I'm writing letters to Albany, all kind of shit. Yo, this is some bullshit. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I'm telling you. I'm reaching out to motherfuckers. Hiring nobody, useless lawyers. Nobody want to get back to me. Useless I'm hiring lawyers. I keep lawyers, telling them don't work in this person's system. So now, she, uh, this is Riker Sound. I'm like, okay, I'm banned from Riker Sound. When she go upstate, I'm good. They had it they in, move in, upstate. in a file. They move mm-hmm. upstate. I'm like, oh, we lit. Me and her on the phone. We celebrating. I finally can see my baby. You know what I mean? I get in the V. I drive up there. I go to the jail. I put my, no, nah, you can't come in here. You're banned. You you try to help me. Indefinitely. Lie, Indefinitely. I felt like the motherfucking building came falling down on me like a I was, I, that shit hurt me. Because it traveled up there with her. I knew she me and her was speaking on the constant. I knew she really needed me, you know what I'm saying? That shit was just fucked up. Damn. Eventually I kept writing the Albany and shit. I got my visitation back, right? So now I finally could see her. I go into the facility, she come out, she run out, she skinny as a motherfucker. She done lost mad weight. I never forget that day. She run out and shit, we hug. Nigga, I wasn't getting packages yet. It's horrible. Right. Then I started doing Nigga, in 10 days, I came home 140. This nigga stupid. <laughs> Shit, so I was check like, it. The next day, I come back to the jail. <laughs> yeah. The next day, the motherfucking police, she looking at me. She's she sucking her teeth. She rolling out. We do our visit. I come back the next day. So now I'm in there. She's like, yo, come here. Mad disrespectful, bro. But in my mind, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I ain't letting them fuck my mm-hmm. visits up again. Yeah, I mean, she like, come here. Like I'm a little boy. Mm-hmm. I come up to the, to the desk. She's like, why you, why, you, why you keep coming up here for? What you mean? I come to see my wife. She ain't going nowhere no time soon. Stop coming up here every day. Yo, bro, when I tell you smoke was coming out my ear. But you just stood down. But I knew if I, if, about if her. I feed for this bullshit, mm-hmm. they going to ban my They business. sent it to you. I went and sat down, bro. Mm-hmm. She came out, had my visit with my wife. I, I visited her every day for a year straight. And Every day for a year? Every day, bro. And that shit, honestly, <laughs> financially, that shit fucked me up. Hold on, yeah. every day for a year straight. Day, well, six days a week. One day you don't got to visit. That's don't don't be fucking That's taking no days off. Don't you, <laughs> don't you do that shit. Don't you take none of that fucking good guy's credit. No, I'm technically yes. saying today. That's like some real wife shit. That's some shit That's Judy exactly. would have said. Well, you technically it was six days, baby. <laughs> Yo, I couldn't listen, fucking listen, come listen, on listen, Sunday. Listen, you know, Why would the fucking... Do you know how major that no. is, bro? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's motherfuckers in the free world that don't see each other a week. You went up there every... How long was the visits? Mm. Full day. From eight, eight in the morning to from eight. eight to four. And you would four just stay, you like, fuck it. We was chilling. We eating out the vending machine. The Yo, vending I'm machine. Tell you yeah. something. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Yo, did they have Sometimes the two hoagies in the vending machine? It was my Jones. They had the motherfucking chicken sandwiches. Jeez. They got the pizza. Pizzas, the pizzas, The motherfucking yeah. muffins in the morning. Oh, my God. You know y'all was, we did everything. The Pierre wings. The, the motherfucking wings. She got chrome 23. All types of albums, all types of businesses. But coming next is a book on how to put it on your nigga. He will come visit you for a year straight. Thank <laughs> you. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Not I'll, to her credit, she I'll put the book to out. It. She put the <laughs> book out, nigga. She had that nigga. That, uh, that nigga was there with the guards. <laughs> when the guards walking, and he went, hey, listen, listen. Hey, poos. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta say this. That nigga, that's really doing time. With, that that nigga did a bit. He was really doing. He was in the it's jail. It's not a woman than, on planet Earth bro, that could say that. Bro, you was in the jail more than you was in the free world for a year straight. Mm. Eight, think about the time. You just went home, sleep, shower, came right back. Went home. You was like, you, like you was in the jail more than you was. Yo, that's mm. crazy for a year straight. It's not a woman on planet Earth that could say they want a year fucking straight 
to see somebody in jail. No she, woman. You know what it was? She didn't deserve it, bro. She was a good, she she still is a good person. You know what I'm saying? And I really felt like, like I seen what happened to her trial. Some Motherfuckers bullshit. got on the stand and lied. I feel fucked up about that. I'm like, damn, Because you man. couldn't protect it. I couldn't, believe, I couldn't, it was nothing I could fucking do, bro. Yep, in that courtroom. That's the shit that fucked me. I, used, I ain't gonna lie, I used to leave her on the visit sometime, bro. I used to go home and punch the walls, bro. I used to be so mad. I, I, I couldn't do shit, you, bro. You that frustrated, but she just still gangster. Just go home and, uh, don't worry about it. She had her moments, bro. How long yeah, did I, I, The only one time I seen her really get upset, bro, and that shit crushed me too. But other than that, she, you, like you said, she was one hundred, like low head his you know moments she too. She had no, let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here, you nut ass nigga. Yeah, he had his moments. I'm telling she you. She had one moment, bro. It was when they, my yeah. money deny my second Yo, appeal bro, or my third appeal. I would tell you what the appeal shit. So that shit, we, the lawyers be the playing whole family. Games. We got the Greyhound bus, right? <laughs> we go up to a motherfucking court. You know what I'm saying everybody, she she put her appeal, and this the last one. She done, she done struck out with the shit. So every day when me and her be on the phone, she would call me though, cause you could check online. She would say, yo babe, check and see if the decision is in. Yeah, you like So that. I would go check, it ain't in yet. So one day I pull up to the jail to visit her. She so happened she called me while I'm in the parking lot. She's like, yo babe, check and see if the decision is in. You so had to I, tell her? I check, no look, check it out Wallo. I check, it's still not in. So I go in the, I get out the car, I go in the jail, before I put my phone in the lock, I'm like, let me check one more time. Mind you, I just spoke to her and told oh her it's not God. in. Oh, no, bro, I checked. That shit said denied. You mm. had to go in there and tell I her said, that? Oh, shit. So now, I go in there. You she, fucked up. She come out. We hug. We sit down. I don't even know what to say. She talking regular. She's like, yeah, yeah. And I can't wait till the decision come. But I'm just quiet. Yo, bro, I ain't even tell her. She looked at me. She knew. She knew from there, bro. And that shit, that was like, that shit was a crushing moment. Yeah. Or that that meant she had to do the rest of the time. That's crazy. That bro. was the last appeal. That was the last one. And, and y'all y'all gave out a bunch of money, didn't y'all? I don't even want to talk about the it. She shot work, low, yeah, the yeah. lawyers are going Ooh. crazy. But low, low ain't even go through no appeal. <laughs> he got up there. He was young. Nigga got aggressive with him. He called home speaking pig Latin and shit. <laughs> we fuck? had never spoke no shit like this, <laughs> this ever in lying. life. I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. <laughs> he called home. This nigga tell me. Yo, man, kids are us, man. Giz a boy, whiz out, man. Kids ain't on the list I said, what? I said, what? This nigga lying. He talking about, yo, man, big husky, giz a boy, you know, getting a little rough. He trying to get a little rough with me. Kids ain't on the list on. So I said, I said, I said, kids ain't on the list on. I'm like, what, what, what the cuss? What the fuck is you talking about? He like, man, I don't want to talk on this fizz on. Like, you know what I mean? Kids ain't on the list on. Like, <laughs> I'm like, kids aches on the lizard. <laughs> I ain't know what he was talking about until I hung up with a nigga that did some time. I was like, oh, nigga trying to fuck him up there, man. Yeah. <laughs> Make a call up there. That's what he trying to tell you, man. Make a call up there to somebody, <laughs> man. His ass is on the lizard. <laughs> I, I said, oh, <laughs> cakes <laughs> on the line. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh shit. I had to call up the jail, get them niggas off his ass, man. I'm Big cuz shit. You know Yo, let I mean? me tell y'all something. Before y'all niggas shit really took off from the beginning, when I seen y'all like play fight doing the wrestling shit and all that, Y'all niggas remind me of me and my cousin, bro. Yeah. Me and his mother, identical twins. Mm -hmm. Damn. And he got he got yeah. murdered. Damn. I don't know if Gilly remember. I remember. I came to yes, Philly, you bro, did. on some ignorant shit. You know yes, what I'm saying? Like trying to. Yes, you did. And I ran into the to, to Gilly and I I had a conversation yep. with him, bro. Rest in peace. But rest in peace to strong. And um, y'all niggas, bro. I love the bond y'all got, man. Keep that brotherly bond. Don't ever let nobody come in between that, Never. Bro. You know what I'm saying? In order to conquer, they got to divide. The mm -hmm. strength is in unity. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So without the unity, ain't no strength. Y'all niggas keep that shit how y'all got it. And don't take that shit for granted because my little cousin got murdered, bro. Yeah, yeah real bro. talk. That's real. That, I mean, that was one of the one people in, in like, you know how in-law should be. Like, he's probably like my favorite in-law. But he probably did something that this nigga did. This nigga was, they had him scared straight. After that key shit, this nigga wasn't bringing nothing in there. Oh, yeah, Scary ass nigga. She was trying to get the shit in. Enough, that nigga used to be coming in, pulling out McDonald's cheeseburgers and shit. I'm like, yo, bring my cousin Bro. up here. Like, what you talking this about? Like, fucking aggressive. This, this nigga no, went. She tried this nigga across the street. Give <laughs> uh, me some cheeseburgers in here. <laughs> but, but she leave it all out. Stop, bitch. You gonna get six months. Man. Not even. But, but this, is my whole, this is my whole thing. Not even. This will make me so. This will make me mad about the first move. Now y'all know. In order for her to get out of the prison, she got to go through gate, gate, door, door. Mm -hmm. How the fuck was she escaping? Because you, you know no how many sense, people got bro. cuff keys on their fucking joint? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, like, come on, man. Like, how the fuck? They ain't like me, bro. That they said that, she was going to get out to of Rikers Island, Black bro. Power. They said, like, we got this nigga now. We got him. We're going we to humiliate this nigga. Mm -hmm. They was putting me in the newspaper for some dumb shit every other day, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, they made jokes out of the marriage shit. All that. They was clowning the shit Let me ask you a question. How, how he get you? What he said? Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> 
Remember. You don't remember? I don't know. I'm pretty sure if you tell him, he'll say something. Smooth what, what happened? Brooklyn what happened shit? when you first saw him? Some smooth Brooklyn shit. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I Who knows? Oh, hold on, hold on. She said here, tell him. But been around for 15 years. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Ain't going no mouth. She don't want to say nothing. She's trying to see his version. Because it, it always say. changes. Every time I say something, he's like, that's not what happened. So I don't even say what it happened, no more. Like, niggas just oh, be man. like, the same way y'all. Just, y'all was friends I said, we was friends. We was friends for months. So the same way I just said, hey, let y'all, I'll give you your flowers. No man on the planet does. I'm just saying, like, chick got to be pretty awesome for niggas to be moving how they move. I'm just saying, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty fire. But yeah, I mean, that's evident. A nigga up at the jail with the CEOs when they walk in. No one ever talks about that, though. No one ever talks about that. No one ever mentions that. I'm like, it says a lot about you, babe. Like, think about it. Like, that's your work. It says a lot yeah, about you. Like, you. You amazing. You know so that. So what happened? Um, basically, like I said earlier, she was hating on me. You know what I mean? Damn, damn. I, I, said, I said that earlier. Yeah, she was hating on me. I with think you gotta love hate relationship. Like, with, the mixtape, mixtape, <laughs> with the mixtape, shit. K State was my friend. For those that don't know, that was my friend. Like before he even knew what a papoose was, K State was my friend. <laughs> yeah. When he needed somebody to go crazy and start his intro on his mixtape, he called me. Mm. Out of nowhere, I start seeing some other shit. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is, yo, who is this? What's I'm a, going on? I'm going to keep it all the way real. That was some New York shit right there. Yeah. He was my friend. <laughs> like, <laughs> man, I don't know, the fuck is he doing with this yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Talking about this, like, like, this my man's and all, but yeah. you're yeah. my friend. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, who is this? <laughs> so one day, I question the shit like, yo, why the fuck? Like, it was cool at first. I start, I realized I moved from, like, number one to, like, two. Then I started moving from, like, number two to three because he was number one, and then some feature they done put together was two. I'm like, now, what the fuck going on? That's why when you saying, like, yo, you know, Slay was fair. No the yes, fuck he, was, he wasn't. Yes, he, was. he was definitely he took, he extra the pouring on the pet poops. was your husband. He wasn't my husband. I didn't even know that nigga. She said, I ain't know that nigga. She didn't even that know that nigga. You know, you know, you know, he was a nigga from Brooklyn that I don't know, know from nigga. nowhere who is this nigga. <laughs> fuck is you doing? Yeah. So that's he definitely was pouring it on a little bit extra. I wasn't hating. I was just asking the question. Like, who is this? Like, what's up? That's not... Like what I said, you see what I'm saying? You say one little thing, one little nah, thing. Nah, come on, you said it. You like that's that new way shit. He hating on me. Fuck this nigga. Who you hating on me? Anyway, I don't like she it. She said fuck this nigga. She, yeah, she was shitting on me. Y'all yeah, can believe. I definitely could believe you said that. <laughs> she said it's fuck hard this to nigga believe. Number you. one, fuck is this nigga? But I tell you what happened. And she um, probably was looking at Slay like this. <laughs> fuck is this nigga? I go upside your shit. So when I met, when I first started fucking with Slay, one time we, I'm in the studio with him. Yeah. And she come in the studio. So when she come in the studio. She like, yo, turn that shit down. You know what I mean? She wilding, she wilding the whole room out. She throw a foot up on the motherfucking desk. I don't wanna put my shit on y'all shit. Oh, she man. throw a foot up on the motherfucking desk. She said, turn she that shit down. She's smoking, blowing smoke. I'm sitting in there, I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't never seen nobody handle Slay like this. You know I mean? But later on, I, they got the brother sister relationship, so that's what it was. But she just wound in the room. I'm like, Ooh, every time he like tells her. a story, I just feel like it's really dramatic. And because I'm, like, I'm Remy Ma, people talking to Mike. I sit back, I'm like, oh, I like her. You know what I'm saying? But I just stayed to myself. I'm like, I ain't saying nothing to her because if I she, she do that shit to me, shit. I ain't, I ain't with it. Y'all my cousin, be mixing in that moment. yeah, yeah. I'm like, I ain't doing that. So I, I played it cool. She ain't even pay me no attention this time. She ain't say shit to me. She left me the fuck alone. She wowed everybody out in the room. She was quiet. You stayed in your place. See, I'm mm. saying? Damn, see, see. <laughs> so now, moving up the speed. Um, one day Slay hit me. He like, yo, yo, man, Remy want to do a song with you. So I'm like, oh, word. He like, yo, I think she like you. Op shit number one. No, so now no, let's let me just stop you right Slay, there. Look, through the alley. That's a, she was all over you like a cheap <laughs> suit. She was all over back like a cheap <laughs> suit out of Marshall. Now how oppy is that? Now <laughs> I'm not saying nothing that I would say if Slave was still here. I told him one time, like, like I told you, you oh, my friend. Why ahead. would you tell this nigga that? Let's just say if you really thought I liked him. Why the fuck you told him that? Right. Number one. Number two, he's not even adding the extra part. First of all, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do a record with him because I'm going to smoke this nigga like I smoke every other nigga on the record. Damn, okay. Call him. That's what you said. The nigga that you keep putting on, number one, 
Come on, I'm gonna do a song. Watch what I, watch what I do to yeah, him. That's what you said. Then, yeah. yeah. But oh, then, did y'all do the feature? Yeah. Did you smoke them? Smoke them. <laughs> smoke them. Damn. And he was on there like, I'm gonna be, ne- I'm gonna be next to Ren like Dr. King. I'm gonna be Ren oh, like he, car tires he, and wheels, like he, dragging it on my body. But anyway, that's what he said in the rap. Yeah, dragging it. So you I'm loved like, it though, didn't you? So Keep look, it check it out. People, no, no, don't, don't, don't tell them. You look. loved it, didn't you? Not only did the nigga tell him that he think I like you, nigga, like, oh, oh yeah, and she crazy. Yeah, he did. He was like, yo, Yo, listen. He said, yo, he said, I'm going to tell you right now. If you fuck with her, he said, I'm going to tell you right now. If you fuck with her, she a little crazy. You might go to jail. My little sister. He like, yo, I'm just letting you know. Like, all right, I come to the studio, I go get the haircut, I go clean the jury, put the jury <laughs> exactly in the, the jury. jury. Cleaner. Niggas get their bag. I go, like, I got to get right for this nigga. Yeah. Ball, nigga what? I'm going, I go to the motherfucking uh, studio, she don't even show up. <laughs> what the? You put the kid on and she ain't show, she up? Even show up? You had the kit. I ain't even want to be like, yo, slave, what happened? I just leave it. I'm like, fuck it, man. I'm that nigga right now. I'm the hottest nigga. Fuck it, she ain't show up. I keep it pushing. One day I'm in there unexpectedly, who come walking in the studio? And that's when we did the song together. So in my verse, I'm making sure I'm flirting with her. I'm saying the mm. illest shit I yeah. can think of. You know what I'm saying? Throwing a little dog. Because you already know she on you. She I already know because she, she on me. She's sweating. You know what I'm saying? Because so, niggas was already We just became him. cool. Like she used to just school me about shit about the game. Like mm-hmm. she used to tell me like certain niggas ain't who they say they is. And how I knew that she was the one for me was because we'd be sitting in the motherfucking car just talking all night. And then when I leave her, I'm like, damn, I miss her. You know what I'm saying? So when, when, you, when you're not with a person and he's still on your mind, that's something special. How was your first date? What did, what did you take it? We used to do shit like that. Just sitting and smoke all night. Motherfucking mm. in the car doing shit like that, to be honest. Cause we, we Remember I told really you I was like the female Snoop Dogg, right? Mm-hmm. Put oh, this yeah. nigga in the hospital. Oh, yeah, Dang. Me up. Nigga ain't even smoke like that. He, he like, was trying to hang he out. Called, he called, called, she parked me. She parked me. Damn. Nigga was in the Give hospital with a fucking <laughs> fucked up lung for like a, yeah, a she, month or something. I'm like, for yo. A minute. He's like, cut. Mind I told you I used to be smoking like high quality weed. I used to be coming out the Cali doing Nigga, if you ain't smoke like that, why you just say that? No, he want, he want, he's all in the car trying to be cool. No, I did, but it was extra. <laughs> like, bro, like, what you it was doing? Extra. And then I was ripping, ripping and running, doing shows every other fucking day. Me and her was wilding in every motherfucking state together. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't getting no rest, so I ended up fucking one of my lungs. I had to get surgery. I almost died. Damn. I had to get surgery. A lot of people don't know that. And um, when I came out, me and her just got more closer, and you know what I mean? Things escalated. The relationship became more serious. That's what's up. You know what I mean? So shout out, rest in peace to K Slay. Rest K-Slay in peace to my brother Slay, happen. man. Yes. Nah, nah. Slay made this shit happen. Yo, not yes, only did. did the nigga give me my first shot, he introduced me to my beautiful wife. That was me. So that I was always give him full credit for that, bro. Mm-hmm. And I always told him, like, now, you know what? That's your friend. Your friends. Look, see, look. see, she was y'all still friends. hating on like <laughs> that's y'all friends. I ain't no, fucking with y'all. Friends. I ain't fucking with y'all. My lion. I ain't even fuck with that nigga. Now that's your friend. Cause you out of pocket, bro. Like, why would she you do mad. that? That's your friend she now. Like, y'all friends. Y'all over there. Y'all be friends. She's nah, but Slay introduced us though, man. Enjoy. You can tell she's a cuss Slay out. Slay. They used to go to war. No, she's a cuss every fucking body. You think this is just Slay? She probably cuss him the fuck out three times a week for no reason. What the fuck you doing still in the like, but hey, listen, <laughs> don't, too, don't too curse you out sometimes. I'm actually, yeah. <laughs> listen, I'm actually a really too nice person. Answer. If somebody do something, if 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 Rem don't like you and I'm on some bullshit with you, you you did something. You did something. The problem is I'm extreme. Right. Like so, you could do something little. Like I, I use the example of time. Like yo, if you stepped on my shoe, my shoelace, it's possible. Like I might want to amputate your leg. Damn. Like, oh yeah, yeah, like, you in no, trouble in the house. I don't do tit for tat. It's like tit. Like, Damn. I, I, that's just how. Yo, I that's am. the thing with her, though. Honestly, and and people always tell me like, yo, man. You sure know how to, you like crazy motherfuckers. Your best friend is K Slay. Your wife is Remy. But it, with me, you calm and laid back. And too. the thing for her, with her is, people don't understand. They think she a certain way. As long as you want honey, everything on the table, you ain't gonna have no problem with her. But if you're doing some under the table shit, she gonna speak up. She gonna put you on blast. What's up? What's up with the, do do any of the kids got a trait? Like any of the kids is a baby her? You know what? You know what's interesting and what's fucking scary to me? My daughter is innocent, right? But it's the cookie dough. Every fucking day I see it turning into the cookie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know you put that motherfucker in the oven and you just mm-hmm. watch it go. Oh, shit. Shit. Every day she's starting to remind me more. It's happening gradually. She not playing. She ain't gonna be. She ain't yeah, playing. She got. She got a lot of her ways. Like the taking... comeback, the quick comebacks. And oh all that man! Shit. Oh, she By the time she's she fifteen, <laughs> she only four. Oh man, and you ain't she gonna. Just like her. Oh, you in trouble? By the time she's fifteen, is over. In defense of my child, 
He be doing some dumb shit. She See? Like, oh, see, yup, yup. How he be doing some dumb shit she for? Yo, I <laughs> promise you. <laughs> I promise you. He be, yo, he, he in trouble. Oh, when, I tell when, you, she get, when she get Remy tipped. is the epitome of New York. Yeah, she don't play. New like, York girls they could play. make a situation out of anything. Like, in, in respect for my child, he do some dumb shit like the baby four. Yo, like, what, what but she's doing? not, I swear. Like, what is he? That's because he you don't be know. Tripp- he be in the house Anybody tripping. that knows her, like, she's not a normal four-year-old. Like, she say some shit to me, like... We literally have a whole fights. Like he gotta come and like break us up. Like because I'm sitting there all day. Like, what did you talk about? What are you, what are you, I've been you breaking doing? Up. Like, and he I'm, just want to be in the crib chill. So she yeah. tells oh, I'm breaking up fights already. She tells bro. me the other day, right? Every day. She got mad at something. She gonna dress for school. My daughter like I don't want to wear that. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> that I know let me dress them. The whole Chrome 23. All the girls let me dress them. Dress Thanks. him. Dress everything. She said no, mom. I'm not wearing that. Like what are you talking about? Yes, you are wearing it. Like no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Like that's her mom. Nah. So check it though. The other day. I don't even know what the situation was, but I'm like, you know what? I don't even care. She's like, I don't care neither. I want a new, I want a new mom. So I'm like, okay, I want a new kid. Matter of fact, I don't want no kids. She's like, okay, yeah. And I, I'm getting a new mom and I'm going to keep the same daddy. How about that? Damn. I said, Yo, check this one out. She so I said, <laughs> why do you... Why at four do you even know that that's like a shot? Like yeah, she knew that was a shot. shot. She was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to get a new mom. Right. She's something and I'm going to keep the same daddy. Right. <laughs> like, no, check this I'm out. Like, I'm like, so, other, so? The other, I don't care. The other night, me and her was having a little disagreement. So the baby was asleep. She woke up. We, I guess we was talking too loud. She's like, can y'all stop? She's like, I'm blame your father. She's like, no, it's not daddy. It's daddy sweet. It's you. <laughs> yep, no, just listen. She's going to, all that, all that smoke she puts you through, the little girl going to give her all the smoke that she puts you through. Watch. I couldn't believe she said that shit. <laughs> Because she, she listened. She didn't hear mommy being a bully in the she house. Bully, yep. it, was so, it was so crazy. I, I was scared for my daughter. I didn't even laugh. I was like, in the room, though. I was crib. <laughs> yeah, she paid for that shit the next day. Can I get a snack? No. Yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, she's she's sweet a, fucking father. She nah, put a fucking she, snack. She putting her daughter in the box now. Oh, no, go in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. she yeah. love her mother to death, it's though. She love the ground sweet. she will oh, go really? on. <laughs> Can I get a snack? Ask your sweet father. Oh, yeah, that's right. He ain't here. Fuck nah, out of here. She's super nothing. attached to her mother, though, bro. That's crazy. Y'all, 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 she know who the, 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 she know who Trying to be like her though. That's all. Yeah, ain't nothing it's, wrong it's with cool that. Though. Mm-hmm. We it's are we supposed to be the biggest influences on our kids? There you go. Yeah. There you go. A, lo- a, a lot of people just you know they hand them the little iPad and let. Yep, them the go. iPad raised the, the kids. Now. Raise them. They, they let them go. Bro? Like I ain't gonna lie, to you. that iPad she she get a little crazy with it, but every now and then. Yeah, pull that. I be let me get that. He be like, yo, just give it to her. She's not getting nothing. Relax. Calm down. Calm. Let's go make some slime. Let's do something mm-hmm. like I, I'm very. I try my best to be hands on with her because. If you don't like show your kids, somebody else is gonna teach them. Yep, there you like, go. Do that phone. And I learned, I learned like I had my son, I had my kids. My son was 18 when I had my daughter. Like I had my son when I was really young, I was still yeah. a teenager. Yeah. So a lot of us, when we had kids, when we were fucking kids, they grew up with us. They grew up with us. So yeah. I had shit that I used to have my son do, I would never dream of doing in right. front of or around my daughter. So like like literally, I just bought tickets to the 50 Cent concert. I'm gonna take my son when his birthday comes. Yeah. When, when he was three. I bought him tickets and took him to a 50 Cent concert. Like, yeah. what the fuck was I doing? Like, I would never do that with my daughter. <laughs> yeah, what was but, I like, doing? You, you do stupid shit. We had him fucking throwing up middle fingers. Yo, say this, say this, because you're young. You don't know no better. Mm-hmm. With my daughter, it's a little one, she's a girl. Yeah. And two, it's a, it's a whole different mindset. I tell people all the time, like, it's different from when you have a kid with your baby father or your baby mother when you're a teenager as opposed to when you have a kid when you're a grown as adult right. with your husband or your wife. It's, to- it's just yeah. totally different. And a lot of times, as parents, like we, we try to be our kids' friend. Mm-hmm. And Gil, Gil, Gil called a lot of Gil, <laughs> Gil, Gil called a lot of uh, what's the name? What you call them? Mommy sisters. Like the new, the new wave is like they the mom and the sister. They just nah. let the motherfucker get away with anything. I'm, I, 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 in my, I'm not gonna lie. I do that with my stepdaughter. Like me and my stepdaughter, like that's my bestie. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the he day, said, oh, we, man. we. 
Yeah, I got mm-hmm. daughters. My 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 oldest daughter is twenty five. Okay, and so my you know youngest what it daughter is, is so twenty one. My, my stepdaughter is twenty six. Oh, you beat no, one of the boy. But one of the oh, boyfriends. Oh, boy um, oh, you had to check him. Yeah, I had to check him. He, I yeah, think he yeah. threw a laptop or something. But I had to. I went through that, man. Shout out to all the fathers out there, man. Protect the daughters. Yeah. I mean, I went to one of them situations. But what, what I'm saying is about being a lot of times. He threw a laptop. He ain't hit it though. He broke the laptop. Friend is okay. But you always have to be the parent first. Yeah, absolutely. You cannot, like, like she knows, like, when she mad at him, she's like, I ain't speaking to your husband. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Me neither. <laughs> like, let's yeah, talk. Yeah, like, how my daughter, they close this month. But at the same time, when she out of pocket, look, nah, this is, this is what it yeah. is. This is, you got to get your money. Like, she used to be mad at me. Like, she's like, yo, why well, I got to have a job? I'm like, yo, because... No nigga want a talking bill. Like, it's cool. When a nigga first meets you, it's cool. Nigga gonna buy you this. He gonna give you that. It's cool. But after that, you become a walking, talking fucking bill. Right. Nobody wants that. Yeah. Like, you gotta have your own shit. Nigga don't want you to take his bread to buy him a birthday gift. Right. Like, it's, it's it's annoying. Right. So I had to, like, like yeah, for real. real. That's I, a real shit. Nigga, and, and women don't realize that. They be like, oh, yeah, when I bought him this, bitch, you use the credit card that he gave you. He's paying right. for that at the end of right. the month. Like, they don't understand that. And I, and I had to tell her that, like, you always want to have your own. You don't want nobody to be able to tell you. Not even us. Right. You don't want, okay, I get you a crib. You, I'm going to still run shit in your crib. If right. I and if I paid for the crib and you live there, it, I'm, you can't do what you want to hear. Right. You want to be able to do what you want to have your own freedom. You got to have your own shit. And I, and I handle her like that. But from having her, because we done had our ups and downs where I done blocked her. I ain't talking to her. Like, because... As a set parent, you don't really have as much say so as the biological parent. And also, when the kids are not together, the parents are not together, the, the kids use that shit in their favor to do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. But with my son, it's a little bit different. Nigga, I will crack you in your motherfucking head. Like, he, my mother done called me, like, he told me that you said you was going to knock him in the head and Mason I did. <laughs> and Mason, damn. Oh, nigga, you, that nigga big as shit. I'm going to mace the shit out of you. Damn, she not playing. And when you down, it's up. Like, what you talking about? I'm not going to really see and act like you little. Rock. I know I can't beat that nigga. Oh, but I will mace the well, What fuck I used to be explaining to her is you don't want to do that. You don't want to put him in a position where he going to go AWOL. You know what I'm saying? Make him run. That's why I used to be telling her to chill out with that. I mean, don't take his manhood. You know what I mean? Like, she want to hook off and all that. Which, is, which is tough love is well, good. Even yeah. but don't make some, sometimes them niggas need yeah. that, man. And this like this. Sometimes the hook off uh, to keep them niggas out of jail. Listen to me. Yeah. Right, like but you this. don't want to make them niggas run from the crib. He's my kid, so I know mm-hmm. what I know what it is. I'm like this. I'm like, yo, I'm talking to him like, yo, and you, I had a pocket. You just, and he's like, hold up. Yo, stop looking at me like that, yo. <laughs> Keep looking at me like that. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Deal, now I gotta punch you in the face because if I don't, you're gonna think I'm bluffing. Now you got punched in the face. Now you calling your grandmother. She can't beat me. Like, damn. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, God don't damn. Like, you don't hear no joke. So he'll go, he'll go to him. I know, I'm going to go side. I'm not. 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 I'm you know your kid. You know how you got to handle Like my daughter, right. I know if I fucking yell at her, she's going to like, she's going to sit there. I got to literally get up and start <laughs> making steps for her to move. Yeah. Him, it was more like, yo, you really got to do something or he not going to stop. And then you have other kids where like, I know I could just talk to them. Right. And I feel like with parents, there's no book. The same way people are like, yo, how I get on, how this, like, bro, ain't no book ain't for no me book to tell you how to be a rapper. Right. There ain't no book to tell you how to be a parent. It's not. It's Every not. parenting is different. Raising a, a child, a baby, is and total when, different experience from a young adult. Bro. And when they get a certain age, <laughs> it get crazy. One and can't I'm like, you for the other. I'm going to keep it all way real. When sex get involved, oh boy. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> I try, I try to tell people that all the time. When we talk about certain situations that I'm not going to talk about right now, we be like, yo, but like, if a Chick, especially if you have a daughter, if she, if a, Jesus Christ could come from the sky no, it's true. And, to, and do nothing. So the parents, you have no control over that. Like it's literally nothing you can do about it. You could lock them away. You just got to fight. And, and, and no, hope they don't break fight. out. Even with my son, I came downstairs. This was years ago. Oh yeah, you told me about that shit. The table. I said, what's up, daughter? Nigga said, what you doing, dad? So I'm giving you <laughs> <laughs> So I was giving you a hug, nigga. Fuck. You upgraded from the titty sucks, didn't you? <laughs> you, pussy, yeah. you got some pussy. Oh, all right. He, 
I, I literally, I said, what's up, dog? The nigga said, what you doing, man? I'm like, doing that shit. Man. I'm a grown man, man. Yeah. Like, I just got my dick wet, man. Come on, man. Don't be, don't be little boy in me no more. Like, strange, like I was, I was right then and there, I said. Shit different. I said, you upgraded from the titty sucks, man. Nigga stupid. Because, you know, I used to have them in the car making front of them. Because one of them was getting some pussy, one of them was sucking titties. So I used to call them the plucker and the titty sucker. We'd be riding around. <laughs> <laughs> they sitting in the back. I'm like, I got the plucker and the titty sucker. <laughs> right. Disrespectful. <laughs> no, I wasn't disrespectful. One was getting some ass, one was sucking titties. But why are you telling my business? Nigga stupid. <laughs> I ain't there yet. Why are you telling my business? Yeah, like, he was see, there. That, that, that made him upgrade his game. I'm tired of being a titty sucker. But <laughs> that's the difference. Like, with my son, because we were so close, like the same way you say, my like me and my daughter, like we go through shit, but I'm really close with her. My son's the same way, like it's so bad to search. I'd be like, he sent me his phone one day. I forgot he left his like, mom, I need to go on my phone. Go to say, yo, tell my don't ever send me your phone again. Like, yo, it was so disgusting. He's like, yo, don't touch nothing, just go exactly what I'm telling you. I did one swipe too much to the left. I was just like, yo, you know what? He comes on, he'd be like, yo, let me tell you about your makeup artist. What I, what I did to her, he's like, yo, you cannot be fucking my makeup artist, bro. You can't be fucking my hairstylist. Like, like he's crazy. Like he's yes, he's out of control. Right now he's twenty two. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. let him do him. No, he now him. he's man. He blitzing like his fourth and inches ball on the goal line. Now he's twenty two. This was seventeen. I'm talking about. I'm sitting there like yo. This, hey, let me tell you something. And he's out of pocket. Like he's like yo. You know this is because you like. You act so much like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you like my dad, really. I, but I'm really not, though. I don't right. want to hear about your kills. Like, please. Right. Like, keep it keep it PG for me. Like, he's... I, but... He's smart as hell, though, man. It's good to yeah. have smart, smart that kid. relationship and friendship, but you also got to have that... He also know at the same time, I will punch you in the face. He I come will, home tells I mom about his you. kills, man. I struck he's, the bitch like lightning. Yo, man. Nah, he's <laughs> wild. She she don't, like, it's crazy. Toy ass up, mom. But... Yeah. <laughs> But that nigga crazy. A lot of people they they <laughs> want man. that part. <laughs> Look who his mom like is. Got yeah, you gotta still be a mom. Look, she yeah. talking about well, one hand. She talking about I punch you in your fucking face. You hear me? Second, I don't want to hear about your kills. <laughs> I don't. I don't. That's too he far. like, man, you a gangster or what? Like I'm tired of this shit. Stop you confused me. He like, mom, you want to be a gangster seventy percent of the day, and then you want to be mommy the other thirty percent. I'm talking to the gangster right now. I'm talking the ass up now. Kills, especially when I know them, I'm like, oh my god, this one here, like he literally, like literally, probably the other day, like yo, so you gonna hook me up? I'm not hooking you up with any of my friends. Like, yo, you'd be surprised if you knew. How he was old. He was old in women too. <laughs> he ain't playing around. He, he, not he, want around. he want everything. He's 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 like, well, now it's a little bit different. He got his own little situation. Yeah, going shout on, to my boy, man. He he a good kid, smart though. Tell Real me. smart. Now this, now he's smart. He's smart. He, you know he's smart. Which parent are you? Are you are you the you the parent? You know he's the yes parent. Yeah, he's he crazy smart. nigga. He's crazy. Yo, he the one that go from zero to so I put my daughter out at eighteen. But they support the they love the, the youth coming up. <laughs> Bro, I'm I'm the parent like I'm no this a this was sure. Come on, let's go. You want ice cream? I'm like, yo, ice cream? You just violent. You're not getting man, I grew up poor, man. Nothing. I grew no. up poor. But yeah, yeah. I grew See, up I'm poor. The parent so if, I, when I can, they, if I can give them, bro, the things that I couldn't get. Yeah. I grew up on welfare. But they don't yeah. appreciate yeah. And, and, and see, I'm that parent. I'm that parent that I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a try to provide and give you every opportunity that I wasn't allotted. But if you if you do some dumb shit, you it's up, it's over. Or you don't appreciate what the fuck you getting and you believe that this is supposed Entitled, to happen like this. The entitlement is crazy. I hate that shit. The entitlement yeah, is uh, crazy. Shit, I cut you the fuck off they till you get your mind right. They start thinking that they're supposed to have, to, and we would have these arguments years ago. It's my my daughter. She just came, so she don't count. She so grew up be, in a mansion, be, man. She don't know poverty. No, she she you doesn't. But <laughs> so, I, our kids are a little she, bit different. My my wants. son too. He he doesn't really know, but they still have cousins and stuff that they be around. My daughter though doesn't even know. Like she she we drop past any project. She'd be like, that looks like so and so. I'm like, they they all look the same way. It's not uh, the same place. Uh, mm -hmm. She has no clue. But with our kids that are the same age, they're all like the same age. 22, 23, 24, 26. and. Christmas would come, and he want to get everybody the same thing. Like everybody getting new coat, new boots, money. This and I'm like, hold up, she getting A's, she getting C's, he feeling everything, and this one, 
Well, I was raised, you give one kid, you give all. But now, That's how I grew up. but now this is my problem. Now, <laughs> don't do that, now, listen, I mean? now listen to my argument. My argument was, what is my incentive to keep getting A's if I'm going to get the same thing as my anyway, brother or sister that's, that's, that's feeling that's, everything. Yeah, that's how I am, That's how Gil is. Like, so what you regular, talking about? Holidays is different. No, is that's what I'm saying. I'll celebrate holidays. But now, this nigga is my thing. Day, you know day. all year <laughs> round, <laughs> Christmas is December 25th. Oh, so you God. act stupid. <laughs> all year round, you think you're going to get rewarded. You You know when your birthday coming. It's clipped you. So we would always clash with situations like that. Yeah, we did. Or he'd be like, yo, I don't want them out there and they ain't got no bread. Then stop acting crazy. I'm not going to reward... Fuck shit. Right. And then you're going to make me want to do something to you. And then if you act like you, I feel like you getting a little bit extra, a little tough of me, now I'm calling my cousins. Like, and, and it's me jumping. It's up. Like, it got to be a balance though, man. You know what I'm saying? You, that, you, you, live, in a, you live with your wife. You know yeah. how it is. It got to be a balance. Both of y'all can't be the real monster. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. No, <laughs> hey, two, two is a motherfucking... She easy as Sunday morning. Yo, yo, on some real shit. <laughs> on some real shit. Fucking walk over too. On some real shit too nice, but I ain't going to front. It been plenty of times. I heard her be say some Remy shit to Gil. Oh, <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm behind the closed door. I we, said, we ain't see that I, one I, coming, I came in the crib. <laughs> I remember one time I'm downstairs in the crib. She's a fucking rat, man. <laughs> she don't know I'm there. She don't know I'm there. She's a fucking rat. She don't, she, she, don't she don't know I'm there, right? So I'm chilling. He's a rat. Uh-huh. He say some shit. She said, she said some shit. You a bitch ass nigga too. Oh, I said, shit. damn, too, too tall like that? Hey, I'm fucked. She just kept going crazy. <laughs> Different times. I'll be in the crib. She don't even know. Cause it, when you know when they used, uh, when I first came on, I'd be she don't even know I'd come over there and sleep on the couch just for the GP just because mm-hmm. I wanted to sleep out the hood. Mm-hmm. Cause I, you know I was still living in first the hood. First of all, any of that gangster shit too got I put it in her. When I met Tushini and Cuss, but she, she, she is a fucking square. To you. She is a fucking <laughs> you, can and, of green peas. And you be caught. You be, I had to put that shit in her. You be caught I, out I there. I told you all the time. You hear me, nigga? You know what this is, too. It's your arm. No, the fuck is not. It's a wing, and I put you the fuck up under it. Raised your young ass. Yeah, yeah you took you from a low ass time. girl to a grown ass woman. When I met you, you was 18. I was 21. Now you 43. I raised two young ass. Well, and I walked Wallo up, listen and to that I shit like, up, oh, she liked this nigga. And when I walked up on it, I be loving it. But look how I met you. When I walked up on it, I smelled the hair. Think yeah, about like, that. She lighting this nigga up. I put my, I grabbed the hair and said, damn, you got all this pretty hair. I said, your shit got body. You don't need no Paul Mitchell products or nothing. I bet you when you run, your shit bounce, don't it? She ain't never heard no shit like that in her life. She knew she was done. She knew she was coming home with a real nigga, man. He said all that shit with a straight face. I did. And I was looking at her. Listen. And I was looking at her like this, too. I bet you when you run, your shit bounce, don't it? She she was looking at me like, this nigga's a fuck crazy. crazy. When a nigga's story don't change, I fuck with these niggas on social media. When a nigga's story consistent, every time they tell it, you know it's the truth, man. Uh, yeah, so you heard story, it. Then. I know that's true. That's not true. Yeah. I know habitual lies that say no, tell a the same lie no, all a the lie time. No, I, the truth I, I, told, no, 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 I told no. mine's with two right there a bunch of times. All love, like tell no, them how I, it is. I believe that's possible. And she was like, "You didn't just say that from the gate." I did say that. Sometimes you was across just, there. I was over there. I asked you a question. Whatever I said, you was like, "I came over there." Creep. Fucking creep. She loved creep. Creep, man. Fucking creep. 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 She lucky she ain't have a friend. I go like, who is this creep? Listen, it was better to be in the jail with my kids eggs on a lizard. Get the fuck out of here. That ass nigga. Shit. That ass nigga hating on me. That nigga hating on me. Yeah, me shit. Now what? Now what? Yeah, you know I mean? the, that, that, that was then. This is now. Yeah, it's a different time. He still ain't getting no ass. He on the streets jerking off. Fuck out of here. Fuck around, nigga. The 20 years come home. Because I, I ain't concentrating on no women. I got concentrating on my fuck money. Fuck out of here. Like, oh, what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Fuck are you talking about? All right. That's don't don't tell him anything. He's just gonna exploit it anyway. Don't tell nah, him nothing. No, he's he out here now. He's going to yourself. He not he out here now. You can't, you know. He's the plucker now. Mm, got yeah. you. I come in peace. That's the lie, nigga. <laughs> That nigga. Hey, shout out to Tune Corp, man. Now, now you want to play with this bag of chips, nigga? Like, like shout out to Tune Corp. Shout out to Tune Corp, man. Nothing. The only, the this only distribution company where you maintain one hundred percent profit. Now break that down. Listen, man. Most distribution companies, right? They come to you. They give you, uh, 
80, 20, 70, 30, 60, 40, they tapping into your pocket. But mm. me as a coming up as an artist, I don't feel like you do all that studio therapy, invest in your money, and you should have to split your profit with anybody. Mm. So with TuneCore, what we do is you only pay the upload. So you can pay the upload each song or each project, or you can pay $14.99 and upload whatever you want for an entire year. Mm. And when your profit come back, it's 100% to your pocket. It's the best distributor in the world. We got reps on the ground in various different countries, five continents. Some some of these other distributors, they ship your month, your, your music around the world, but it's nobody there to handle it. We got people in different countries representing and making sure your music is, you know, reaching the people and doing what it needs to do. TuneCore is the best distributor. I speak from experience. I've done, I had a, a million dollar deal. I've dealt with various distributors and I didn't really get to see my money until I started fucking with TuneCore. So as an artist, right, a lot of artists get discouraged because they got this thing in their head where in order for me to be successful, I need a record deal. That's what they taught us. They trained us to think like that. It's a whole different day and age. You don't need that no more. Only thing you need to do is go out there and be consistent and persistent and make sure you monetize off of your content. Some of us, as an artist, you have a value. You may be worth a couple hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You may be worth a couple thousand dollars. You may be worth a million. I don't give a fuck what it is. You deserve it. So go out there, put your music out, monetize off it so you can see your value. That way you can know, okay, this is what I got to do to, to make my value and to increase my value and make more money. You want to monetize directly off your music. I don't give a fuck what it is. You deserve to make that in your pocket. TuneCore is the way to do that. In, in Chrome 23, mm. The next battle is June seventeenth. Mm -hmm. It's going down. Yes. You might see me pop up, you know, spit some bars, but that's another story. <laughs> Who you battling, Wallo? Uh, Gil. That's <laughs> a, I always want to battle whatever, anything against him, I'm with it. So, so, and this year also got that. <clears throat> that ain't even how no nigga that smokes out. No. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, is I thought that? that's how they be. I don't know. I seen people do that. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. She that. bought that nigga the whole shebangs. That's what's up. I'm gonna eat these joints, see what they taste. Why would you do that? Yeah, fucking chips. Kids. You don't eat nobody no, chips. That's a souvenir, man. <laughs> That's a trophy, nigga. I ain't see them since I left the joint. I never tasted them. Don't, 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 just don't open that bag. Don't Let do that see. shit. I wasn't to see. I might, I might have to open it in my bag. bag. I gotta show that to some homies. I gotta take a picture of that. Let me send that to about 15 homies. They're like, where you get them from? It's gonna be a frenzy. No, don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't do that shit. That bag, you can sell that bag for like $20. Right? Don't yeah. do that. Give me that shit, man. Don't do that. Yeah, I got to send that to a couple of homies. I can't even taste it. No, I know y'all be seeing me in your comments. I'll be no. dying off these get a jail please. chip. No, no. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to give you. Can she I get send a me prison case. chip? I'll she send you some. She's going to send you some. I can't get one of these. No, no why the is. fuck is you touching them, man? Because I want to show how good the shit bags is. No, 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 no. I really see if they... All the hype was in Alright, let me or at least let me open. I swear I'm open. I bought let you, I bought you weed. Alright, let me open. And I bought him let me open. Bags. I can't let you open. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a taste. Give back, man. Oh, what happens there? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, you ain't gotta finger fuck him first. Right. No, no, pour me in, don't touch. Don't don't dip. Yo, what the fuck you finger fucking the bag, man? Taste is amazing, amazing, ain't it? Yo, he's so sweet. <laughs> I mean, these taste like bootleg chips, man. <laughs> they do not. <laughs> they do not. Man, y'all just like them because it wasn't nothing else there. <laughs> and they got a nasty <laughs> aftertaste. <laughs> they do not. I never expected it to say that. They like chili barbecue or something. Chili barbecue, they, they nasty. All the I think they ain't gonna say, yo, this shit's shit. good. No, don't they touch it. No, what's it, what flavor is that? All of the flavors, the whole flavors. shebang, <laughs> salt and vinegar, barbecue, oh, onion and nasty. garlic, sour cream, onion. No, no. <laughs> they pull together? That's like throwing a bunch of shit in the back. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I don't know. Who's your bag? I think I fucked that brand up real good. Oh, Look. that's why my tongue is like, what the <laughs> fuck? Was... I'm like, that shit tastes like Doritos, chips, Funyuns. <laughs> shit, though. Oh my God. God. That is yeah. shit is dead. He's dragging it, guys. These guys don't ever let me go to jail. Oh, one of those your bags. <laughs> they bitches is nasty. It is just like that. Right!